happened last time. I thought it might be um, good if I do the recap um, and just I'll touch on just all the uh, high level points. I won't go into a lot of detail on this. And then afterwards, I'll pause for, for just a couple minutes. And if anybody has questions or can't remember exactly what somebody said and wants to ask clarifications um, or just strategize amongst yourselves in a little bit of a pre-game session meta session, that's cool too. And then we'll we'll get into the actual role playing um, after that. Um, so um, last time uh, your party made it to the Nymph's Rest, there you met um, the sailors from uh, three of the ships, the Urtica, the Kincardine, and the Arbite. Um, uh, there was a uh, thrilling chess session, which uh, unexpectedly one of the crew from the Urtica actually won. Um, uh, Elvin met some refugees in the basement of the Nymph's Rest through stealthily sneaking down, but not so stealthily, stealthily sneaking back up. Uh, where Ian there uh, spotted Elvin coming up, but it seemed to be okay with that, more or less. Um, you guys learned a little bit about more about the sinking of the Urtica, um, that the refugees um, apparently were responsible, but there seems to be some question about that. Um, but that's the story that sort of the, the town um, mayor, but it's not really mayor, but like the head of the town, Celarius, um, that's what apparently he... His belief is, uh, you have not met him yet. Um, Ofric, who you originally came to meet up with, um, has not been seen since the night that the Urtica sunk. Um, some of the sailors gave you some information about that. Um, the captain of the Kincardine, um, Captain Holt, I believe his name is, um, you learned that he um, has a love interest at uh, Mount Oresta, Orestia. Um, which is not too far distance up in the mountains from where you are. Uh, he has not been seen in quite some time. Um, you saw the first mate of the um, Arbite, uh, first mate Booth, come into the Nymph's Rest and then you followed him out um, where you encountered uh, a group of tiefling street thugs that were in the process of uh, harming in some way, you're not entirely sure what they were doing uh, with, with uh, two refugees. You rescued the refugees, uh, you killed all the street thugs, um, and at, while you were doing this, um, the uh, very, very uh, dexterous Eleonore, uh, through racing across the rooftops, was able to keep an eye on Booth and his men and followed them into a warehouse source, or really not so much a warehouse, more of a dilapidated building um, not far from the city center. Um, that will be on your map. Um, and then you took the injured refugees to the city center where you met Dr. Sotinos, um, who has given you some more information about uh, refugees that um, have been coming to him on a regular basis for help. Um, and even after that, have been coming uh, in, in search of loved ones that had seemed to be disappearing from the city. Um, he mentioned the fort as one place and sort of the, the gates, the northern gates of the city as a place where, where refugees in particular seem to be disappearing from. Um, Molly met a family uh, that told a very heart-wrenching story about how um, two of their children were killed while they were fleeing to get to Fort Gawatch. Uh, they were killed uh, around something like a couple of days or, or so outside the town by what appeared to be um, a giant wolf. And uh, Dr. Sotinos mentioned that uh, a lot of his medical supplies have gone missing recently, um, but he did manage to scrounge up enough to heal up you guys uh, a little bit. Um, and I think that's where we left off. If anybody want to add anything or have any questions? I don't have any question myself. I think we're good to go. I have a question, Richard. Uh, when we dispatched uh, those uh, free thugs, uh, wh did we notice um, any witness uh, besides uh, the people, uh, anyone who could recognize us? Not there. Um, there when um, Eleanor followed the booth into that dilapidated building, 
Um, he was able to sneak up to the building and peer inside. However, um, the there was another tiefling inside that Eleanor spotted, and that tiefling seemed to see Eleanor. There may be some question about how well he saw Eleanor and how much he might recognize him or not if you were to see him again. It's not terribly mm. clear. Okay. But nobody where you had the actual fight. No one else. Okay, mm. good. I do have a remark. Uh, I think it might have been Ferris or someone else, but we learned that those sea monster repelling orbs, um, they're very precious, and one of them should be still on the half-sunk Urtica, with probably in the captain's position, correct? Um, so yes, so you did, I can't remember who it was who said that to you, yeah. but I can't remember that was told to you. It might have been one of the crew members Probably. Um, of the Eurotica. It might have been the guy that you were playing chess with, actually. Yeah. Um, did did mention that, that uh, about the orbs and that the orb, um, I think, you know, I think it was sort of surmising. Oh, surmising. Likely um, still on the Eurotica. Um, and I think, I, I'm pretty sure that somebody, it might have been him, did mention that typically they are kept in the captain's quarters. The captain keeps them in the captain's quarters, other than when mm. the, the ship is underway, in which time they are kept in the uh, wheelhouse. Mm. Yeah, well, my only concern is that we never got a chance to properly loot the ship. Um, anyways, uh, in-game, I'll probably try to persuade the, the others if we want to go back there. Anyways, that's it. Um, cool. So is anything else? Otherwise, we'll, we'll go ahead and jump in. Let's go. All right. So is everyone on the map at the hospital? Yeah. I believe yes. so. Plus yeah. some really good looking ladies. Yeah, good those are the nymph nurses. Don't you wish wow. you were a patient? Oh, yeah. She could, she well, could I be am. your daughter. She could be your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I still have chest pain. No. <laughs> I don't know wow, if it's... Yeah. But actually, this city is full of hotties. I'm, I'm kind of sad I have a female character now. <laughs> well, I'm kind okay. of sad I'm old. <laughs> Sorry for you guys. <laughs> uh, where am I? Where is my uh, token? This one? Okay. I tried to fix your token size here. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, did you manage? Because I don't recognize my token. Uh, oh, it's there. there. there it ah, yeah. Okay. Okay. That's you. Yeah. Uh, okay. You recognize it because it's not four times as large as everybody else anymore. Yeah. Yeah. I recognize that grumpy face. <laughs> so, um, um, mm -hmm. go ahead. No, I, I was wondering, uh, because uh, we uh, okay at uh, at the meta level, I haven't figured out uh, really what my uh, companions really want and uh, why they are here basically. So I, I have my own objectives, uh, and uh, we were assigned to to kind of uh, uh, clear the situation and find the boats on uh, on report. So that's uh, what we might be doing, no? You mean what? Next. Find what? We we were supposed to to find the boats and on uh, figure out what happened uh, and uh, and try to to reopen the, the commercial route. Uh, yeah. That was our initial mission, wasn't it? Well, yeah, that's in the long run, definitely. Mm, okay. Okay. <clears throat> and, and just to add to that, you'll um that uh, part of that mission, sort of the main part of your guys' mission, as far as that part goes, was to um, assist Ofric in, in his mission to do that. Yeah. Um, so it wasn't so much that you were independently assigned to do that, um, you were assigned to support Ofric. Okay. Although you could certainly take it on yourselves to, to, to take the mission on yours as your own if you're not able to find Ofric. Yeah. Can we ask the doctor if he knows about Ulrich, which we have ever met him before? 
let's uh, let's let's drop in and do the uh, role playing. Um, so, uh, Doctor Sotonus is there. He's just patched you up. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, so we are patched up because um, yeah, I I, I still have a five uh, hit point uh, hit point missing. So can we rest? Uh, take a long rest. That would be good. Yeah. Does anybody want to talk to Dr. Sotonis before you go, or otherwise you can go back? You, so you, you do have rooms at the Nymphs Inn. Okay. Uh, uh, well, so I, we can, can I, as Eleanor, I guess, ask uh, the doctor about Ulrich, if he has ever seen him or met him before? Sure. Go, go ahead. Okay, sure. Uh, do I need to work for that? Just asking him about Ulrich? Yeah, yeah, just go ahead, go ahead and play. Okay, so um, I, I talked to the doctor, uh, his name is Sortanos. And okay, Sortanos, uh, have you ever heard about a guy named Overit who came on one of the ships that came visiting here a few weeks ago? Uh, Overit, you say? Uh, he's, uh, he's a human? I believe so. Okay, yes. Um, no, we, we uh, I'm here for I, I almost never leave the the city center and there have been no and 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 the hospital here I'm I'm always unfortunately very kept very busy here treating the, the, the refugees and anybody that comes in for help uh but there have been no humans that have come in and I, I I've heard that the, the crews from that come from across the sea are are all human so I don't, but uh, that might be something that uh, typically the humans stay at, at the Nymphs Rest uh, in and Tavern. So you, you might ask there. As a matter of fact, if you're going there, may I ask you a favor? Huh? There's, there is a, uh, a very kind man there that runs the Nymphs Inn. I don't know if you've met him before. His name is Ian Mayer. He is a uh, Fearbog, but uh, I yeah, we him. Oh, you've met him? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I, I please keep this to yourselves um, because he does not like it to be known. Uh, but but he, he does what he can to help the refugees here. And on occasion, I will send a refugee to to him for, for shelter. Uh, it's very sad, but we don't have space here to keep refugees for more than a couple of days at most when, when they come to us for help. Uh, so we patch them up as best we can and we have to send them on their way. But occasionally if somebody needs more rest and, and time to recover, I will, I will send them and, and tell them about Ian Mayer, uh, who, who can, tends to take care of them for some time. Th there was this other Fairbold who was here some time ago, uh, a, few weeks ago and uh he was badly burned and oh. i did what i could to treat him for a couple of days and but he was still obviously suffering quite a bit and he seemed to be very upset so anyway i sent him to ian here and i have not heard from him since he i i asked him to come back when he was feeling better to get some more supplies to treat his his burns but he never returned um so if you could maybe ask Ian Mayer if, if he's okay, I'm just a little bit worried. Yeah, sure, we can do that. No problem, I think he's doing a very noble thing taking care of these refugees. It'd be great thing. Sure. So, uh, <clears throat> so you don't know about Aubrey, but have you ever, uh, like, uh, have any of the, uh, the Ortica? There is a ship that came here called the Ortica a few weeks ago. Has anybody from that ship came here, like, for treatment or anything? And you just had a chat with him, and they told me that they were from the Ortica, basically. Uh, I, I heard about what happened to, to that ship. Uh, I think that's the one that was sunk uh, out in the harbor. I, I uh, again, they're, they're all human crews, I believe, and, and no humans have, have come here um, for help. So... I, 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 I don't know what happened. Hmm. Uh, I guess you never heard about the Orca as well. Then. I, I, I about, just, about the people I, of the Orca, basically. 
Mm. Yeah, I've only, I've only heard what people are saying that, uh, I guess people are saying that some of the refugees tried to take the ship, um, but there was some tragedy with this. This all happened about seven weeks ago from, from what I understand, from what I recall. Um, mm. But I, I did not meet any of the crew that no, no one came here. And do you believe the story about the refugees trying to take the ship? Do you think the refugees would do such a thing? Well, I, I know the refugees are desperate. Um, they, they, they don't have enough food. Um, they're very frightened. They're, they're trying to get to the south um, to flee from the troubles that are happening further to the north. But it, it doesn't make much sense to me also because these refugees, they they're simple people. They're, they, they, they're not organized. They don't, I, I've not seen, at least for myself, the refugees have any tendency towards violence. It's, it's not a violent kind of place. Yeah, Why are there so much arrest? By those folks, apparently, uh, the folks are, are trying to, to, to rule on them and to harass them. What's going on here? I, 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 I know, and uh, trust me, this is something that I, I deal with almost on a daily basis um, with refugees coming to us here for help that are not only injured or, or, or terribly frightened from what's happened to them on their journey here, but, but from what's happened to them when they've arrived. I, I, I just think that the unfortunate truth is that people sometimes prey up, prey up on the weak and the refugees are, you know, not, not well suited to protect themselves at the moment. Mm. Can you tell us a bit more about those people arresting them? I can only tell you from what I've heard, but I, I, it, it seems to be um, I just... I don't know how to say it, but other than street thugs, these these just people that uh, that prey upon the weak, and I I believe, although I don't have any direct evidence of this, that they seem to be um, they certainly seem to be responsible for some of the injuries that I've had to treat. Um, they may be responsible for some of the refugees that that have gone missing. Um, the refugees when they arrive to the um, to Gralandar, uh, to, uh, to Galwatch, they, they come in through the gates to the north, and that's where some of the refugees apparently have been gone missing, and that's also where some of the attacks from the street thugs have been reported. Uh, I've heard one name. Uh, I, I don't know if it has any truth to it, uh, but the name I've heard is, is a name, Elik. Elik. More than more than one refugee has, has come to me with stories that someone by the name of Elik um, may be involved with these gangs and perhaps is I don't know if the leader of the gangs, but somehow um, seems to be driving them to to you know do these horrible things to to the poor refugees. So Elek might be the leader, or he's like uh, some boss inside that huge gang in the city. In the city. I just don't know. I, uh, these are bits and pieces of things that I've heard from injured people, frightened people. That just happens to be a name that I've heard more than once, so it's possible. I just don't know. Do you know where we can find okay. this Elik? Like, have you ever heard where he goes to or where he stays? I, I don't know anything more than that. I'm very sorry that, but I, the, again, the information that I get is usually very broken, doesn't make a lot of sense, and it comes from people that are terrified and injured. Um, I, I don't ask too many questions. I, I did at the beginning, but I found when I asked too many questions, the refugees would become frightened and would leave before their treatments were finished. And I, I just stopped asking questions. I, it's my I feel it's my responsibility to treat their injuries. I see. Okay, thank you. 
Mm-hmm. We'll look into it. I appreciate that. And please, if you hear anything more about the Firbolg, the injured Firbolg, please, uh, please tell me if he's okay. We'll do. Sure, okay. we will do. When, where, where did you say he was seen for the last time? Well, I sent him to Ian Mir for help because I, I was not able to keep him here for more than two days. Okay. Uh, but he needed more rest. Okay. Well, Doc, um, thank you very much for treating our wounds. And uh, I cannot seem but recognize that the water that you use to clean your medical tools, they're kind of tainted. Uh, <laughs> if you'd like, uh, t tomorrow, once I had a rest, I can come back and cleanse the water for you. I don't think that's that's a good idea to, you know, reuse the water that way. We would be most grateful for that. We we are limited in our staff. We try to change the water as, as often as possible, but uh, it's not as often as it should. So anything would be, well, would be helping. Um, yeah, as a token of our appreciation, I'm, I'm really happy to come back tomorrow and spend some time to cleanse as much water as you have. Just just try to put it, like try to organize it in one place and then I can help you with that. But that's you tomorrow. I'm, I'm too tired. I'm sorry. Thank I you. wish I could do it right now. I'm grateful for anything. And, and it's been a pleasure to, to meet you all. And again, thank you for, for rescuing uh, the, the, that old woman. She, she, I think, would not have survived much longer. Um, I think we'll be able to treat her and, and help her recover. Gambari <laughs> Masho. Okay. So you guys head out? Or where, where are you going? What time is it over there, roughly? Um, it is uh, early evening now. It's probably okay. around um, getting close to 8 p.m. Seven for seven, between 7 okay. and 8. All right, guys. Shall we search for a place where to sleep? I thought we already had a place. The nymph's rest, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, as we're walking back, I would like to talk to Eleanor a bit and just um, say, hey, um, wouldn't yep. you like to uh, get your hands on one of those amazing orbs that we've seen? You know, the one that the captain used to repel the sea monster. Well, as far as I know, the, we only had one which the captain had. Yes, but right? yeah, I heard there are more. And uh, apparently, rumor has it that the captain of Urtica uh, had another one, which possibly is still there on the shipwreck. Wow. Are you interested? Do, do we know if the Ortigas captain is alive or dead as well? Like, if the captain sank with the ship, basically we should have not one, but two orbs over there. Uh, well, yeah, that's it. Like, there should be one orb there. At least. Right? Yeah, well, I mean, I guess... Yeah. Well, sure. I would love to ha like get my hands on these orbs, but the thing is, I I don't. We don't really know the background <clears throat> behind these orbs. Like, uh, for example, who gave it to us and who is supposed to like take care of these orbs? Basically, like the yes. importance of these orbs. <clears throat> also, we don't know how to use them. I mean, they seem to be very important because I mean, if we want to reopen the trading routes. Probably we should have an orb for the ship that goes back and forth to repel the monsters, right? We yeah. should probably get one orb in our possession. I mean, sure, but as far as I understand, we don't plan on going back or going into sea anytime soon. No, I mean, not for us. It's for the trading routes. If we want to have, you know, the trading routes resurrected, we should probably have an orb that we give to said trading ship, and then, you know, they would be able to travel safely so are we talking about traveling to this island or traveling from this island i mean both really because if i understand correctly we we don't have like uh like if we are going back safely then we would bring our captain or back and then the next ship can use it but if this is yeah. the last orb we ever had and we can't go back then yes we will need our but still if we can't go back we can't get the orb 
to the other side. But yeah, as you said, like once we are, we decide to leave uh, Gradar, uh, we might want to go back to Kalet. Uh, we will definitely need a ship and an orb to protect us from the sea monsters. So I was just wondering if, if uh, well, and then I talked to the whole group, if you guys would be interested to make a quick drop in back to the Articas, uh well, sunken, you know, ruins. That will be, you know, deep in the sea, basically, because we, last time we investigated a small boat. Yeah, I mean, that's came... the one. Yeah, that's like the, the Urtica uh, is, uh, is basically sunk in the port. Like, that's the ship that we investigated, but we didn't have time to basically look through it. So I was wondering if we can go back after we rested and uh, take a better look. I mean, sure, I don't mind. Does, I'm sorry, uh, just uh, just because I forgot. Uh, did we That's actually okay. investigate the bottom side of the yeah. ship? Because there were stairs going down, if I remember correctly. Yeah, and that might be the captain's quarters and maybe the treasure. So we didn't so, we didn't go down? I don't think we investigated the whole ship, no. Oh, because I, I, I thought we went down, but if we didn't, then yes, I guess. We I mean, we have. went down, but we didn't go down, down, you know. I mean, we got attacked by the monsters, I guess, while we were trying I to mean, go down. Yeah, but now, I mean, with our strength renewed, I'm pretty sure we can uh, face whatever down there. And uh, I mean, we did kill both most of the monsters, so I think we could just go back and take a peek, see, and uh, yeah. Uh, didn't didn't Molly say that besides the ones that we took out, there was uh, that huge thing? that was like uh, swimming inside the water and we had to run outside the water to get away from it but we never saw what it, that thing was yeah if you remember correctly so i don't yes, think it's, was... it's that it's not gonna be that easy just saying oh uh, but once we rested i i have confidence and i look at the others like what do you guys think guys and girls well girls and guys actually morning just shrugs Okay. How about you, Alvin? Aren't we supposed to 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 first look a bit uh, what's going on in this city? You really want to go to the boat? Yeah, because I mean, if we get that orb, because now I mean, basically it can be lost to some marauders now that we've defeated like half of the monsters there. Um, but we did not see anything uh, when we went there first, so why why do you think there would be something? Well, I mean, we didn't have time to look around, because, you know, we were chased out. We we did uh, look for things, yeah, we did. I don't think so. Not I really. do remember we, we searched the corpse and we found uh, stuff on, the cor on one of the corpses that were found correctly. So I think we had time to investigate a bit. Did we? Yeah. I mean, I just heard a rumor. I mean, if you guys think that it's not a credible rumor, then let's leave it for now. Oh, you heard the rumor. Yeah. Mm. One of those amazing orbs might be there in that ship still with the captain. I don't think we found the captain's uh, okay. quarters. Yeah, good. Sounds good. Let's go. Uh, can we rest first? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, because uh, uh, I feel that like I'm uh, eighty percent of my my usual strength, uh, usual health. Well, as aside from that, uh, uh, I am pretty sure I already shared with you guys, but I found the gang's whereabouts, basically where they are hiding, and uh, they noticed that I was checking them outside from the window, so they might move soon to change their real headquarters so if we want to check that first we would have to be quick actually rather than checking All the right. ship before that i mean Just seems saying. like we're gonna have a busy day tomorrow mm. or do you want to go there now yeah yeah okay i mean I, i'm playing with my uh sheath on my sword yeah yeah okay i mean uh all right <laughs> 
Uh, Eleanor is just curious about this gang and wants to okay. know what they are doing in that abandoned building. But also, uh, Eleanor notices that Molly is yawning and sleepy. Kind of. Molly, are you okay with a little bit more adventure tonight? Molly is clearly looks like she's really tired. However, she replies, <laughs> yes, of course I'm okay. All right, okay. gang. I guess we're checking out the... HQ, uh, show us the way. Okay, sure. So we are going outside the hospital. Okay. Um, let me move you guys to this map. Bye, Doc. Thank you, Doc. Okay, so this is uh, the gang's whereabouts. Oh, it was so far away. Wow. I thought. Hmm. Yeah, uh, DM, yeah. is this the sunken ship, correct? Down to the right, yes. Oh, well, that's actually pretty far. I thought it was like in the docks or something. Yeah, it was a couple hours sail outside the Ah, docks. I see. Yeah. Darn it, that's pretty far. Okay, so we, we are moving towards this building. Okay. Hi. But we we'll um, probably need to hide, like uh, when we reach nearby, so they don't oh, yeah. notice us. No. Yep. Hiding, yes, and uh, I mean, uh, stay frosty, guys uh, and girls. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Mm, actually, do I have a feeling that we are being watched? Our role perception. Okay. Because uh, once uh, Eleanor said that, we well, yeah. Let's see. That's nice. a 17. Um, you're not seeing anybody. Nothing's catching your nose at anyone's. Cool. And it's dark anyway, so I'm... Uh, it's not quite a sort of sunset time, but yeah, okay, it's, cool. getting, it's getting dark. All right. Well, let's go. Okay. So um, you start heading to the north towards that direction as you're, you're heading up through the streets. Your feeling is just the, the again of, of the town. It's just got this sense of darkness and decay. You smell the rotting uh, sense of vegetation that is that is um, just the feeling of the, the, the sense of of death um, and and uh, destitution. Um, the trees as you pass that are once lined the streets are are all dry with no leaves, even though. It is uh, middle of um, summer. Um, everything just seems to be dead or dying. Um, you look up and you see in the distance um, the mountains to the north um, that form a wall of just towering rock um, stretching from one side of the horizon to the other. And in front of that on a hill, you see the fort um, rising up. The fort is not tremendously large. It's not a castle. It's it's a, a you know sort of a more of an outpost. Um, the main tower of which you can see has been has collapsed, and only part of it remains standing. Again, just looks ominous. Um, black birds are circling above it, um, and as you turn your your gaze back to the streets, the narrow streets that lie ahead of you. You just feel a, a sense of impending doom that's descending Ooh. upon the city. Ooh. This town looks doomed. Yeah. Okay. So you head up towards where that building is? Uh, yeah. Uh, in, in, actually, I would like to propose that uh, do you guys want to go like from the front door or do you want to like do the same thing? I mean, Maybe I follow you. And then, like, went out. To... Yeah, so you want to attack from the windows, basically, or from the roof, or do you want to attack directly from the front door, basically? What we could do is to reconnoiter the, the perimeter and maybe enter from uh, all sides, all windows for maximum uh, surprise effect. Yes, I agree. Sure, that sounds like that. Elf has the strategy. Okay. Yeah. Give me a second. I'm going to have to move you guys. There's the map. Looking for 
Um, this is going to probably take a couple of steps. So we can do this. And I think we should probably place order. <laughs> uh, we should probably start stuff in. Yes, let's move discreetly, friends. I put attention to the H. Yes. Oh, it's way down here. It's so hard in roll 20 to move. Yes, it is. So I'm sorry, moving you here temporarily. It's the open. And then move over to. And this one. Oh, that's better. Okay, here we go. Oh, hi, Doc. Oh, you're passing by there. Okay, here. Why is it? It's about the doctor patch us up. Did, did, we, did we like uh, regain health? Like, because um, I lost, I still lose four points of HP. Um, there was a rule that we did before that that you guys each had different amounts healed. So we can go back and see in the history. Or that I did. think the doc healed us for something. Different ones got different amounts from what I remember. Let's see. Uh, so we, we already we rolled D6. Okay. Yeah. I mean, uh, we should. Do you had two. You really healed you two. Furbus four. Yeah. Elvin four, and I think maybe Molly wasn't injured. I don't see a role for Molly. I think Molly's untouched. Okay, that must be it. I'm um, okay. I'm I'm here with my my daughter talking to me. Sorry. That's all right. What happened? We we just reached the place, right? Yep. I'm about to put you guys in. Okay. Oh. We see a building, the interior of a building. Uh, Richard, is it correct? Which one is the building? Uh, I'm one? seeing. Uh, I, think, a I'm I think. I think this one is the one that uh, Eleanor peeked into. I guess. So, Ju judging from the fog of war. Yeah, maybe from there. It's up here. Can you go see? So, so building is a dark place over here. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Wow, it's, it's trashy. Wow. Let's clean that up. This so the building a... that's yeah. here is the one that um, uh, Eleanor was on top of. And then okay. he dropped down into this alleyway here and he looked into this window that's here. Okay. Uh, okay, fine. I think I actually went to the rooftop and then went out to check that window. That, could, can... that, that could be how you do it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, do you want to scout ahead? Yeah, sure. So, I think I'm going to use the same method as I did last time. Just going to go to the rooftop and the same stick a beat from the window. Sure. Um, now, you it's going to be hard to see, if once you're up, and you remember this from the last time you were up there, if you're yeah, on yeah. the roof of this building, it's you're not going to get a very clear view through the windows because the windows are on the on the bottom floor, and so you'll be sort of looking down at an angle. Um, that's why you dropped down last time, um, but you could get up there if you want. Okay, so first I'm, I'm gonna tell everybody that last time when I did this, actually say these guys basically don't have any lights inside, they can't see in the dark, and last time they actually almost saw me, and because I, I can't really see quite good in the dark, so, you know, it might not be the best of ideas because it might get noticed. It might be on alert if I do that. Just saying. But if you want me to do it, I will do it. Mm. Do what feels right. And uh, before you go, I touch your shoulder and give you guidance. Oh, nice. Okay, fine. So then, uh, you can use that for a ability check or attack I'm roll. I'm pretty stealthy with a five bonus. Okay, so uh, DM, I would like to go on top of the same building I went on last time, and then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm jump from this building to this building. Okay. Uh, same thing I did so, last time. Sure. Um, so, a couple of things. Uh, first of all, let's get you on top of the building. So, give me an athletics check to go up. 
Okay, uh, maybe I should roll for stills first because I need to be stills. Right? You could do stills for you. I was sort of debating about that whether you do that first or after. Either way, it's fine. All right, then I roll for stills first. Wow. Wow, okay. <laughs> Where did she go? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Our head is, uh, isolatics is bad, actually, for me, so... That's fine. Wow, it's, not, wow. it's not a very difficult climb. There's a lot of yeah. footholds and stuff, so 10 is all you need to get up there, so it's fine you make it up. Okay, so and then I'm going to jump to the uh, next ability. Okay, and I think it's just at your range, so you make it across. Yeah, if I remember correctly, I yep. did it last time. So <laughs> I'd be on top of this building, and uh, where's the window again? Is this a window? Uh, that's yeah. The, that's a window. Can you guys see the the alley? This I can't tell what you can see and can't see. Is that is this whole alleyway pretty clear to you? Yeah, this is an alleyway, right? This that's an alleyway. Whole thing, right? So there's. Uh, let me see if I can show you this. Uh, one second. Uh, let's see. Um, these are stairs, I believe, going down. Like, yeah, those are stairs down. going down. So yeah. there's there's a oh, shoot. Uh, There's a window here. This right, I'm on the right layer. No, you're not gonna see that. Try that again. There's a window here. There's a window here. There's a door here. And there's another window over here that you can see from where you are. And you other guys that are in the alleyway, you can see that at least there's at least one window on this side over here as well. Yes, uh, we have lots of entrances and exits, I guess, for the window. Can do a nice surprise attack. Just as a, a general question, are we going in and kill uh, everybody? Why are we <laughs> supposed to kill them? <laughs> sorry to ask. Um, so at this no. point, at this point, Z is, uh, sorry, Elinor right. is up on the roof in the other building. So okay. Elinor, I'm going to ask you to not respond to that, but the yeah. others can discuss that. Wow. Well, well Elinor is in the middle of doing this first. Yeah, I know. Well, do you want to take hostages? Uh, no, actually, we we just had uh, one brief encounter with uh, three of them, and uh, there may be a lot more inside, and uh, maybe we just uh, need to maintain a good relationship or keep a low profile. Mm -hmm. I whisper, I actually agree with the elf. With the elf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, little, uh, little, little person. Um, maybe I shall, I shall ca catch up uh, with uh, our friend who, uh, who has gone up. Sorry, right. what are you going to do? Help me. I, I'm turning to towards the group and say, uh, shall I catch up? Uh, with uh, uh yeah, sorry, what's the name of your uh, Eleanor. Eleanor. Ah, yes, Eleanor. with Eleanor on uh, on try to to warn her. Uh, okay, um, I'm, I'm on top of the rooftop, but just uh, this is just you a should. recap, just a recap that uh, basically uh, inside there is a uh, guy named Goose, who is from a previous ship who came here, and uh, there are also the Tieslings, which we know that they took one of the ships before as well, from another crew. So just just to you know make clear who is inside now. So we definitely don't want to kill Goose because he is from a previous ship. I think at least this guy we are, we are not supposed to kill. But I'm not sure about the Tusli. Just say. Although it's exciting to kill them all, um, uh, I have second thoughts. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, you got this. I have faith in you. Okay, which uh, means... Um, oh, I'll touch your shoulder and give you guidance. <laughs> <laughs> to do what? <laughs> go ahead, off you go. Okay, so I'm going to catch up with Eleanor. Let me do a tracking. Yeah. And Eleanor, you don't have guidance anymore because it's concentration. But you didn't have need it anyways. Well, well, sure, I think Gilz is misunderstanding what I'm doing. I'm just scouting and I'm coming back. It's not I'm, I'm not going to attack guys. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to catch you uh, to catch up with you. <laughs> um, that would be where is my tracking? That would be what perception or 
Uh, so if you're going to, I mean, you know where he, where he went and you know what his plan was. So um, if yeah, you want to follow yeah. him, then you'll need to yeah. roll athletics to get up to the side of the building. Okay. Um, you need to roll a 10. And then um, to, uh, if you want to do it stealthily, I'll tell you that. It's, uh, it's uh, that's a long time I haven't climbed anything. <laughs> do you have a guidance? Okay. I mean, yeah, you, yeah. you do have guidance now. It probably wouldn't Which be Which gives enough, me what? But I'm D4 plus, so I don't. Uh, my 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 arms are a bit weak. Shall I just uh, try to whisper? Go there and whisper. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let, let me uh, do a, a stealth to get closer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you're. I don't know. Not making a huge amount of noise. Um, I don't know huh? how super stealthy you are. Uh, but go ahead and move your token wherever you want to go. Yeah, so I, I'm going to the area where uh, Eleanor is supposed to to be. So oh, it. it's difficult to move things. So, okay. Um, ah, so I'm off board now. Great. Okay. I don't see. Do you see my token, Richard? Uh, no. Both. God. <laughs> you want me to put it back on? Yes, please. Sure. <laughs> okay. Um, so I, I, I'm going to uh, the corner select. Okay, select. Why the map is selected? The map is moving when I move my. Uh, that's weird. The map is moving, not my token. So just saw your token move. Yeah, but uh, the map is moving also as well. That's weird. Maybe I need to. Sh no, I can't move. Uh, can you move me, uh, Richard? Sure. It looks to like the corner. Move. To the corner. To which corner? To this corner here? Yes. Uh, thank you. And I try to whisper, I don't know. I don't know. Um, wow. Okay. This is interesting. Um, top of the yeah, I guess Eleanor, give me a perception check. Yeah, I mean, I mean, is he on top of the building or is he no, 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 he's, from down there? He's down at the bottom. Um, uh, it's difficult. Okay, fine. Uh, perception? Yep. Oh, you're there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. I don't. Notice oh. you, sorry. I'm, I'm concentrating on the window where I'm supposed to need to. You see, you see, uh, you see, um, uh, sorry, Elvin, you see Eleanor's ear like intently down on the on the top of the roof and he's concentrating down into the building and apparently it doesn't notice you whatsoever. Okay. Um, I the good stay news put... is that a bunch of guards haven't come out and rushed you either. Yeah, okay. I step put, I step put. I, I try to, to check uh, what's going on around if everything is still quiet. Give me a perception. Yeah. Uh, that is, yeah. Perception. Perception. Here we go. Okay. Um, you don't notice anything. Okay. Oh, I'm good. Uh, today I'm good. Yeah. You feel very confident. Yeah. What would you like to do? And what is everybody else doing? Mm. Well, I'm, I'm going down to sneak a peek through the window. Okay. Not sure about everybody else. So you're going to lower yourself down. Go ahead and move your token where you want to go. I'm just hiding behind Fireboots. Okay. <laughs> like behind his robe, holding onto his robe. Yep. <laughs> I'm just taking a peek to see like what everyone else is doing, kind of. Uh, but not moving from there yet. Okay, uh, Fervis, give me a perception check. Oh, okay. I probably yeah, can't probably. see Eleanor from that. No, nope, probably not from that angle. That's well, fine. I don't know. It depends. Eleanor is now is lowering himself down. So oh, okay, cool. And uh, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm just trying to keep an eye out. Yep. If uh, I can. Okay. Uh, nope. Not, not, nope. That's <laughs> why. Oh, I have. I have, have two tokens. tokens. I'll get rid of one. Get rid of one of those for you. I've rushed both of them. What's going on with this? So, um, Eleanor, where are you lowering yourself down? Uh, well, this thing, it's, it's dark actually here, so I can't okay. put my token here. But basically, last time, I, I, I think I saw from this window, so I want to check from another window just to see a different... Sure. It was... So, it, it was so this 
Uh, sure. So, so um, that whole dark area there is the rooftop. So that that's why it's dark there. I can't really reveal it, but yeah, yeah. okay. I'm, I'm gonna move down just here sure. with Ali. So I'm I'm basically checking that window. Just yeah, no problem. So what's in front of you right there is actually a door. Ah, the door. Ah, oh, sorry. Okay. It's, uh, so maybe this window then. Got it. Okay. Give me a stealth check and then a perception check. Uh, I I rolled for stealth earlier, right? Yep, but since you moved down, back down, okay. drop down, the looking through. Okay. 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 Hmm. Oh. Uh, and uh, aesthetics. Okay. Uh, All right. Perception. Perception. And a perception, please. A uh, perception. Okay. Yep. Yeah. One second. I'm not good at perception, to be honest. I mean, we're no. tired. I'm more into investigation than perception. I, I have lots of acrobatics, but I never use it. Okay, so you can see into the window, um, but you're not seeing anything at the moment. Give me one second. Okay. Okay. So, um, good. so that's what you look at. Let's see. Let's go back to Eleanor. Eleanor, what are you doing? Uh, sorry, uh, Elvin, what are you doing? So basically, I just I saw um, nothing. Just did I Yep. Right. I see nothing. Okay. Nothing. Uh, I'm trying to see if I, I perceive um, uh, Eleanor. Uh, did I see Did I see Eleanor moving in my line of sight? Uh, you probably could. Yeah. Since you're looking, you don't need to roll. You can see him. He dropped down quietly from the rooftop. Um, made a slight yep. scuffle noise. Good. Um, outside the window, uh, but not terribly loud. Okay. Um, and you see him sort of peeking up uh, over the windowsill into the room. Okay, uh, I'm going to 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 move uh, quietly uh, to the second window. Okay, it's corner. Okay, give me one more uh, stop. Yep. Yeah. As soon as that happens, I'm probably also going to move. Okay, we'll go to right this. Great. Yeah. Um, okay. And uh, Elvin also give me a perception. Perception. Uh, one more second. I'm you still, still not have, guided. Yeah, you still have guidance because you didn't use it. Okay, so guidance is uh, what the... 1d4. 1d4. Let me roll 1d4. It might actually. Thank you. Okay, uh, 10. Well. Okay. Hmm. I feel confident. Uh, let's see. Hold on one second. Um... Okay, and um, okay, so um, oh, sure, let me do this real quickly. One of these days I'll do dynamic lighting, but I, I find it to be such a pain in the butt. Um, <laughs> second. Okay. And, uh, okay, Corvus. Yeah, because I've lost some, well, I mean, I kind of can see him, but I want to keep the chain alive, you know? Sure. So yeah. we're He's going to good. move. I guess I, I, I look behind me and, uh, Molly, follow me. And, uh, I guess then stealthily I try to move here-ish. Well, with an okay. alt, I can actually put myself right there. By the way, if you press Alt, you can like um, disable the snapping, so you can basically just put put yourself whatever you want, but you have to hold down Alt. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, and uh, stealth, I guess. Yep. That's th this is where it's gonna go bad. 
Uh, I'm not. Ooh, hello. Oh, check okay. it out. Good. So I'm an old man. Yeah, for an old man. <laughs> well, I'll give you the stealth too, if you're going to do it stealthily. So you're Yikes. sneaking along and Molly sort of like <laughs> trips on your robe. Uh, like technically, <laughs> technically, I have already rolled. I think oh. it's six. Um, you scroll up, I did that 13. Oh, you had, yeah. No. Uh, I hear you. I mean, I've been, I've been asking people to do rolls when they do like different kinds of actions to change their ah, okay. positions. I don't know if that's oh, okay, okay, okay. Then but... now it's okay. a set. We'll see. We'll uh, see. I'll just want to position myself so that I have an eye on Elvin and Eleanor. Okay. But I'm not moving closer to the building. Uh-uh. Nope. Okay. So you're all there. Um, when? Why is the 20? <laughs> <laughs> when? Suddenly the door opens. Which oh. one? Which one? Which one? Hold on a second. I guess this one probably. There we go. And this guy pops out and looks to his left, looks to his right, and says, Oh shit! <laughs> and runs back and slams the door. <laughs> okay. Um, go, 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 go. Too much yep. for scouting. Yes, so um, I, I I see that, and uh, I move uh, quite fast in the direction of uh, the the old people, uh, the old guy uh, who transform into uh, an animal from, so from time to time, if I understood correctly. But I'm not quite sure. You're retreating. Yeah, retreating. Okay. Oh, okay. Hello. Are we running? To... Um. Yeah, actually, I'll be running. I love it. So, I mean, uh, <laughs> seeing ever run, I run. <laughs> go, go, go. Why uh, is everybody running? I see him from the rooftop and I'm like, what? <laughs> I don't know. I just see ever running. I was like, okay. So uh, you, you saw this guy come out and, and sort of look at both and at you and Elvin and he ran back in and slammed the door closed. And then you saw Elvin take off and run back and you sort of hear footsteps proceeding into the distance. Oh, what do you do? Hey, 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 guys, we can't, we can't leave Eleanor there. He? We are regrouping. We are not leaving her. So it's, it's Eleanor's turn. What do you do? Uh, well, <laughs> I am guessing that I saw what happened as well from the rooftop. But you're down from the rooftop because you're now looking through this window. So uh, yeah, but, yeah, so I probably just heard the guy come out and in again and I heard what he said. So, anyways, yeah. so I didn't see anything from this way, though. Is this clear? Because I didn't hear you when you said last time. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. So you um you looked through, but you didn't you didn't see anything. Um, and then El uh, Elvin moved up. The guy came out of the door. He heard something. Came out to investigate. So he saw you there crouching by the window, and he saw Elvin crouching by the other window, and he went back in and slammed the door. Oh, he, then, he saw he saw me. Even though yeah. I'm, I'm like I'm okay, fine. You're, you're, you're not. Just to be clear, you're not you're not on the roof anymore. You climbed down from the roof in order to oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. window. Yeah, so yeah. You're, right, you're right there on the ledge, right next to the door. So yeah, he, he saw you clearly. Okay, I guess he saw me. Okay, and I'm just gonna go up anyways, and I'm gonna go there and try to sneak another peek from this window. Okay, so the windows though are those are at the street level. So in order to look through the window, you have to come down to the street level. You can't you can't look at it from the roof. You have to climb down off the roof. Well, I have a, I have a rope. That's how I go down and up. With, uh, well, all right. Well, if you want to do it that way, you can do it. But you have to narratively tell me that's what you're doing. I heard before that you climb down. Um, no, 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 no. I, I always use a rope. Sorry, I, I don't don't climb down. I just okay. Yeah, that's fine. Just please please tell me that in picture because I'll see. We'll need to talk about how you tie that off and all that kind of business. So how how it actually works. Um, so if you want to do that now, you, what you, what you've done is you've climbed back up to the top of the roof, you've gone over there and are you now securing your rope at the top so you can climb down that window? Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Okay. So pause there. Um, I mean, I can only jump if somebody goes up anyways. Okay. Doke. Um, that is cool. Give me one second here.
Okay. All right. Um, at that point, while you've, you're going up and sort of moving across, you're working to secure a rope. Um, the door opens back up and out of the door um, four tieflings. And they're all sort of standing out here at the moment. They don't see you yet. You're sort of up at the edge. Um, let's go back and check in with the rest of the group. What are Elvin, um, Furbis, and Molly doing? Um, um, I'm thinking I'm scanning the, the area on uh, trying to determine if there is a place uh, I can uh, um, what am alternative is there a place where I can hide or it's uh, clear enough that I can run a further away uh, with oh because yeah the map has ended here I see what you're saying yeah so yeah. this is sort of like a street if you remember from the big map there were streets that led up to this area so you can if you wanted to retreat there's plenty of places to retreat where you are now is not in view of the front door of the building okay and just open so you're 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 not in sight at the moment anyway okay so uh, I will uh, I will uh, compose myself and um, go to the corner uh, try to to hide myself and to observe if someone is following you, us, uh, turning turning at the corner that is around. Uh... Sure. Okay. Give me a perception check for that. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Perception check. Tick, tick, tick. Okay. Yeah. Um, you look and you 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 feel confident the street is clear and you don't see anybody else. Okay. Right. Uh, the street is clear, guys. Good. Trust me. Um, <laughs> hey, Alva, look over there. And uh, as Alva looks away, I'll turn into a stray dog. <laughs> Where is he? Can you do that, though? Do you have any of your... Oh, wait. Uh, we didn't have a long, uh, short rest, did we? No, I don't think so. Oh, no. Damn it. No. Damn it. No. Yeah. Then I don't. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> yeah, good call. Mm. So you see, <laughs> you see Purvis sort of like crouch down on all fours and sort of like Perfect. look around and give himself a scratch and then he realizes that nothing's uh, happening. He... <laughs> damn it. So I can only do this twice per day. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> I roll my eyes uh, and I hope everybody sees it. <laughs> all right. So where is Eleanor? Um... You don't see him? Uh, uh, Elon or no, you can't see him where he is because he's sort of right. crouched up on yeah, the no. above the roof line yep. and is working to secure a rope up there. So he's kind of crouched down on the side. Of the uh, uh, I'm kind of anxious about Elon or uh, could I try to stealth back yeah. towards this corner? Sure. Uh, I'll leave, and I'll I'll leave also, it yeah. I'll leave it I'll up to you if you want to reroll your stealth or use your old one. Oh, hell yeah. And uh, this time I'm gonna send a, <coughs> well, ask uh, Mother Nature to guide me on this. Um, okay. I'm not really good with stuff. And let me roll 84 just in case. Uh, 16, almost the same as last time. And where are you moving to? Um, well, that's a good question, Richard. <laughs> uh, well, if I move stealthily, I can only move at half speed, correct? Yeah, but we're not in combat round yet. Okay. So I'm sort of doing a little well, like, yeah, so. I'm trying to be sneaky and... Uh, yeah, be reasonable, just, you know, this sort of... Yeah, like, just turn. like... Sure. That's uh, and take a peek, see? Oops, not there. Okay. Yeah, anyways, you get it. Just around okay. the corner. Okay, um, so yeah, you can see from there, you can see um, these four guys that have just come yeah. out of the door, um, but you still don't see Eleanor. Okay, I, I look back at Elvin and Molly and uh, give them the hand sign to follow me. Uh, and I also do like four tieflings, like horns, <laughs> <laughs> you know, try to signal. <laughs> do you guys remember that from the Monty Python thing? Yeah. <laughs> from, what was that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And uh, Elvin. Hmm. 
I try to go to the, the house that is in front of me and try to climb again. Okay. Athletic strength. So, athletics. Come on, come on. I need to motivate myself. Oh, that's better. Uh, yeah. Okay, you can get up there. Okay. So, there was probably uh, some kind of uh, box that I could uh, uh, <laughs> uh, put my feet on and then... Uh, I hold myself uh, up onto the, to this roof. Okay. And, okay. Uh, okay. And my my aim is to to slowly uh, advance uh, towards uh, uh, the entrance door, but um, from yeah. which I saw the, the guard emerge. Well, those tiefling emerge. Okay. Um, let's get you, get you up on the roof. Put, put your token up in the dark. Can you get on the dark area or you're not allowed to? Uh, I don't see anything when it's dark, so... Like, if I move you here with that, is it, can you still see yourself? Okay. No, no. No, I can't. Or you can't see yourself now? No, no. <laughs> see, that kind of sucks. Um, it's too far. All right, well, let's let's put up. it on the corner. Yeah, yeah okay. Uh, Just, I'll put it there. You're not, you're not quite there yet because I want to go back to uh, okay. Ilion for a second. So, you're, you're, you've climbed up and you're, you're, you're sort of stealthily working your way over there. Yeah, absolutely. Or what are you doing? Oh, <clears throat> I see these guys come out like uh, basically down there. So yep. I don't think it's a good idea now to go down with my rope and shoot the window because yep. there's no point. Yep. So um, do I see uh, uh, Fervus? No, uh, like he's, he's kind of around that yeah, corner. Actually, I guess he's stealthing. So you got to give me a perception check, actually. Okay. I see him. I'm going to for him if I can't. Then. It's a 12, but yeah, I will never get a high point to perceptions. You don't see him. Okay, yeah, it's my weak cast. Uh, well, I don't see him. Well, I, well, I just. You do. Give me another. Oh, actually, with a 12. Um, all right, at this point, um, going back quickly to Elvin. Elvin, give me a stealth check, please. Okay. Um, so, uh, am I noticing something? Uh, we're not just, just give me a stealth check really quickly. Uh, uh, oh, sorry, that's the perception. That's the perception. Let me give you a stealth. 24, okay. So, uh, Eleanor, you don't see, uh, either, um, Fervus, uh, or Elvin, both being extremely stealthy. So, as far as you know, you're up there by yourself. You, before, the last thing you saw was them sort of take off running down the, down that side alley. Well, for now, I'm, I'm just gonna stay. I'm gonna like I check as a rooftop around me, and I'm yep. the only person who's here, just checking around. Like there's nobody who can see me. Okay, you and... don't see anyone else other than the four. Okay, okay. then I'm, I'm just gonna stay up here and watch these four, see what they are gonna do. Okay, so um, they are now sort of spreading out around here. They're going to check this this way. Okay, and uh -huh. let's see. Um, we didn't see Elvin walk up, or sorry, uh, climb up the building. Elvin, right? Yeah, Elvin is, is, no, definitely would not have seen them from yeah. where Elvin climbed up. It was around the corner. Um, well, he's sort of stealthily coming over there. I have an idea. See, see what was your stealth, uh, your last stealth check? It was low. You wanted, do you wanted, your last stealth check was an 8. Do you want to re-roll it today and sort of... Yeah, sure. Oh, wow. wow. You were flattening yourself on the rooftop and being super silent, which is not that hard to do either. So you're like extra healthy right now. I um, as the wind. All right. So Oops. Wow, there's really no one, only one that could possibly do is that one. one. Oh, I have an idea. Okay. That's it. So so you see these guys. So um, it's Fervus and... Ilionor see the tieflings sort of spreading out and they're sort of looking around. They're not looking up at this moment. They're sort of like checking around the corners and things. Um, huh. around. I'm going to do if something. I... Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Um, if, can, we, can we make a headshot with... Uh, can I make a headshot with my bow and uh, take out one of the tiefling or it will uh, be... Uh, initiative and uh, he will lose just a uh, part of his points and uh, will attack me yeah so it would be it would be if we're going to do that just mechanically we would roll as soon as anyone does an attack action it would be we roll initiative uh. first and then we'd see who gets initiative it's not going to be surprise because they're aware there's something out here and they're they're being attentive 
Um, mm. So it'd be a surprise round, but if you win initiative, you might be able to do that. May I do something before that? Okay, so uh, I, I keep my uh, my bow on uh, my arrow uh, ready, but do nothing. Yep. I might be able to give you like a surprise. Um, this is probably going to hurt me. <laughs> uh, so Fervus is going to pretend that uh, he's a blind old man. <laughs> okay. And just try to walk out, try to, yeah, just walk out like pretending to be a beggar. Okay. Kind of. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, okay. I know. Got it. Um, Molly, what are know. you doing? Uh, realizing is moving there. Yep. Uh, I just hide myself here. Now there's a window. I don't know if you can see it, but you're right next to a window there, um, which you could. It's you know it's th these buildings are all dilapidated and falling down. You could actually get through that window if you wanted to, or you could just sort of hide around the corner. It's up to you. Uh, I'm I'm a bit worried for the old man, so I want to stay here. Okay, just got to it. hide myself as best as I can. Sure. Uh, um, got it. Do, do I roll and, for performance? Um, <laughs> got it. Everyone else is sort of watching, right? Okay, go ahead and give me. Is it performance? Oh, sure. I don't know. I mean, I think there is a. Uh, Deceive? Ask you Deception, or, maybe? Deception. Uh, yeah, I'm in same-ish. Anyways. Yeah, there is yeah. a deception. Deception. Oh, it's... I, I do either one, perception or, or deception or performance, if you wanted to. I mean, it's, it's what I can see it being that, but I think that doesn't matter for your character. No. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, here goes nothing. Ooh. <laughs> I'm, I'm terrible at this. Okay. I love, I love oh that. yes. <laughs> well, at least I got their attention now. Um, okay, so um, you go and you're sort of blindly tapping your cane along, and this one. How do you fail at trying to pretend that you're blind? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. This one, this one, come over to you and say it's you dark. Doing? Also, it's supposed to be dark. Yeah, that's true. So at least you should have an advantage, maybe no. Uh, well, let's see. Um, they come over to you and they say, oh, "What are you doing here?" Uh, well, oh, uh, uh, well, I'm blind and I'm lost. I don't know where I'm at. Uh, you gentlemen, could you could you show me to like the main road? You're human. Well, you you're not from here. Where where are you from? Oh, that's true. I'm human. Damn it. <laughs> uh, and this is where the the, the bad deception uh, <laughs> exactly. check comes in, where I start <laughs> stuttering as uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I I, uh, I already start to bend my uh, my bow, <laughs> aiming at uh, uh, the one that is closer to uh, uh, my old friend. Okay, so um, are you going to shoot? No, I'm uh, observing the situation. Okay. Um, so, so Purvis, you, you, do you give any response to you to sort of owing and umming? Well, I mean, I wrote bad on deception, so that's okay. why you I can, you roll it. Or give me, give me, a, give me a really good uh, role play here. Let's see what happens. Uh, uh, it's uh, well, be good. <laughs> so, uh, I came with this ship. Uh, uh, I mean, not not ship. Damn it. <laughs> 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 All right. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm that close to release uh, with my pointy ears. Maybe I can hear what's going on. I'm um, very, very one... close to releasing my arrow. I mean, I'm trying to speak loudly, so yeah, you probably heard what's up. This one uh, pulls out his sword and says, "You were spying on us through the window." Uh, no, no, no. How would I be spying on you? I'm blind, and then. Uh, and then oh I basically look at him I mean, like instinctively, blind. just you know. <laughs> he looks very skeptical. Yeah. Uh oh. Um. Hello? Did I? Oh, hello? Yes. Hello? Can we hear? Yeah, yes, yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you. Hold on, hold on, guys. I think I just. Hold on. Sorry, I think I hit my speaker or something. Hold on. I forgot what the right setting is. Okay. Yeah. Four. Four. I should be this one. This one. 
Hello? Uh -huh. Hello, yeah, yeah. Yes. I can hear him. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I twisted a knob that I shouldn't have twisted. Oh, there's... So our last thing I heard was uh, the tiefling that said, how did, how did you get here if you're blind? Uh, and I I said, well, uh, I came with this with a ship, uh, I mean, d darn it. Uh, and uh, then I think he asked me, like, was I spying? And I said, oh, no, right. no. And I straight up looked in his eye, like, if I wasn't even blind. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um... He says, uh, come with us. And he, he, he moves to the side and indicates for you to go towards the door. Okay. Mm -hmm. Actually, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I'm going to not resist. Okay. For now. Okay, so um, let's get you guys sort of walking towards this direction. If you're going with them sort of like that. Yeah. Um, what's everybody else doing? Oh. I try to make eye contact with Eleanor if I can see her and be like, <laughs> do the <laughs> face of, <laughs> I think it's time. Mm. Uh, if I shoot an arrow, uh, will they recognize where uh, it comes from? It's dark and I'm up on a uh, roof. And actually, I'm planning to shoot uh, this guy here. Hold on, where is it? Uh, the guy on the extreme right. On the extreme right. The one. This guy? Yes, oh, this yeah. guy. Yeah. Um. I will. I'm not sure what he's doing, but uh, I would like actually to jump here and talk uh hold on hold on before before that uh that's the question um you're just asking mechanically what i'm sort of yes a slight yes. Negative question that's fine um no the way i think uh Gilles, the way i would i would do that is that um it, it you're yeah i mean basically he would he would likely see where it's coming from he wouldn't you might be able to um so you might because be basically it's dark. Uh, yeah. I'm on, on a roof. Um, uh, he's not really expecting someone to. Yeah, uh, I hear you. I, I do hear you. It's just that um, I, I think that you know what, it, just mechanically the way it would work. If it, if you were a thief that had the ability to do a hide on your bonus action, I think uh, you'd have a chance to do that. So I think like Eleanor could potentially do that because Eleanor. I was going to do that actually. Yeah, you could you could shoot. Then move back and take a hide as a bonus action use your, your cunning action and, and be hidden as a result of that if you if you can get out of the line of sight. Um, but that's not a feat um, that Elvin has. Okay. So um, you you could you could move back so that he could not see you, um, but he would know that you were there and probably know where it was coming from. I he see. would certainly know that I mean, assuming the arrow didn't go wildly wide and Nowhere near him, he probably would at least know that he's been attacked, especially if he gets hit. So I uh, hold my arrow. If I can, yeah. I would like to jump here and say something. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I jump here and I yell, Dad, where have you been? <laughs> oh my God, I, I'm rolling my <laughs> eyes <laughs> again. <laughs> and I, and I'm going to roll deception. Yeah, okay. Wow. Hey. Uh, nice. Hey. Okay. And both these guys stop dead in their tracks. And this one almost stumbles and falls over. Um, and both these guys look in your direction. Oh. And they turn I, I, around. Angela? No, I, I pretend to be a human kid. Okay. Yeah. I say, where have you been? I've been looking for you. Oh, that's Angela. Yeah. I'm here. I'm here. I just got lost, and uh, I don't know. And they... who, who are those guys? I don't know. I just, I got nervous, and then they, they like asked me where I'm from, and I, I don't know. And I say, leave my dad alone. And so this this one comes up and says, uh, 
so this man is with you. Where did you come from? You're not from here. No, we arrived to the last ship. We we go. Please leave my dad alone. He's the is the person taking care of me. We saw we 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 spotted this 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 man looking through our window. I'm sorry. He has some mental issues. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> And he sort of pauses and then says, mm -hmm. I, I understand that I, we, we suspected that, but he, he seemed to be very uncertain of himself. Take him out of here. Make sure that he does not come back. We don't want to see him here again, nor you. We will not be so patient next time. Thank you, thank you. And I jump and hug the old one. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Come on, guys. Cool, Nothing cool, here. Cool, cool, cool. Come here, old man. They go inside and slam the door behind them. I say thank you in halfling. <laughs> <laughs> I whisper in druidic. You should be more careful. Yes, I know. I know. Eleanor is just like... Uh, Resisting herself not to laugh at all the things she just saw down there. Uh, I'll try to make eye contact with Eleanor and uh, give her a, a wink that coast is clear. So now you guys are going to attack, right? <laughs> I, I thought so. <laughs> I guess not. Yeah, either way, uh, Eleanor is, is not beating, and we already know like how many people approximately are inside, so. I'm just gonna go back to regroup with everybody and then we can discuss this. Okay. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm going to do exactly the same. It's exactly what I wanted I'm to do. Just, yeah. Well, I, I just like, I jump over here and then I go back. Just, and uh, yeah. I, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going back to the, the corner and uh, getting down and, uh, on the same box I climb on the roof. Yeah, I, I whisper to the team, I suggest retiring. They are on a high alert now. Yeah. Uh, let's go and sleep. Uh, tomorrow is another day. Uh, well, that's fine. But by tomorrow, they will not be here probably. Like two times, they first saw me sneaking through the window and then they saw other people coming. So probably they will move by tomorrow. But we can investigate probably. Uh, fine. I will track them. I will track them. Okay, I will leave it to you then. Yeah. I mean, we didn't see Boof, right? He didn't come out of the building. Yeah. Hmm. But why Why do we need to be so aggressive towards them? Well, we saw them attacking people earlier and harming them, and they are really doing lots of bad stuff according to the doctor at the hospital this, as well. This is regrettable. Yeah. But uh, maybe we should assess first their strength and their want on uh, what's interesting to them uh, and then use this as a strength in our plan. Although I'm not so that clever to, to talk like that, but that's what I would say. We can figure out what is the connection between them and Bulls. That would be enough without attacking them. You could just figure out how, why is he cooperating with them. Okay. You want to observe again through the window? Uh, well, I, actually, I was thinking just like spending the night on top of the roof and just like uh, when somebody comes out, I, I will basically just follow them again and see if Bruce comes out without doing anything reckless. Okay. And you guys can go back and rest. Uh, I can sleep on the roof. Okay. Uh, actually, we. Yeah, that's a good plan, Z. That's a good plan. Uh, I can uh, keep you company so we can alternate uh, guard. Um, yeah, fine. If you can stealth. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I, I can. I'll be stealthing mostly. So. Yeah. I, I don't mind. Sure. All right. So, okay. where do we meet uh, tomorrow? At the inn. Okay. And if we are not at the inn, shall you shall you try to come uh, to the street? All right. 
Sounds like a plan. Or we can meet at the hospital. Okay, that's even better. Yeah, sure. yeah it's the middle of the city, kind of. Yeah. Okay, so first meeting point is uh, hospital, second meeting point is uh, the inn. Sure. At what at what time? At what time? Well, uh, I I think if nobody comes out during the night, like basically if you wait until morning and nobody moves, that means probably they are not gonna leave their hideout just yet. So we can probably just like come back the next night, basically. So we can just go back, I think, in the morning. Well, let's say mm -hmm. if you guys are not at the inn in the morning, then I mean I wanted to go to the hospital anyways, so. You know, you can find us in the hospital, and whenever you arrive, you just arrive and let us know. Sure. The next morning, we will probably be in the hospital, let's say around like 9 a.m. or something. All right. But what, what if they don't make a move until 9 a.m.? Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, if they don't move during the night... Oh, I that, see. Okay. Yeah. So that, that's fine. We will just leave. Cool, cool, cool. I mean, uh, because in the morning they'll be able to see us, like, uh, yeah, even on some of the roof, so it's not a good idea. All right. Take care, guys, and have a nice sleep. Okay, so I'm just going to go back. If the uh, DM is okay with it, I'm just going to go the same way as I was on top of the roof. I'm going to spend some night with her. I will follow and uh, no. Or maybe because uh, you know, because I, I jump and all that. I'm not sure if it's uh, if you are if you can do that without uh, no problems. That's okay. If not, you can actually spend the night on the other side, like in the building, on the other side of the street as well. It's easier then, for you to plan. Then we, for you. then we cannot uh, alternate uh, guard. Now we can like uh, sign, like uh, hand signs, basically. Like I, I'm gonna sleep now with hand signs, basically, and you can just alternate with me. Okay, and how are you going to wake up? Uh, well, I can I can jump between the two buildings easily. I'm just saying, if you, if it's okay for you as well, that's fine. But if you think that you know jumping or doing the same things as me can alert them, I can always go back and forth between the two buildings. Well, you know, I'm uh, I'm, uh, I'm not very strong, so you know, athletics is a bit difficult for me to, to be honest. Yeah, yeah that's, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, I'd rather find a, a nice, uh, comfortable spot from where to observe. Yeah, it's up to you. Okay. Mm -hmm. and I guess uh, Molly and myself, we're going to make our ways back to the the resting nymph. Okay. So I'm, just, I'm clear on what Eleanor, Molly, and Fervis are doing. What, what is Elvin doing? Is you going to stay there or you're going to go to the end? Gilles? Elvin? I have a cape and uh, probably I can find uh, some debris and uh, some trash uh, around uh, into in which to to to, bl to blend in, to, to yeah. disappear, maybe at a corner here like this. Uh, yeah, you can, you can sort of hang out in the alleyway if you want to sleep there. That's, that works. I yeah, so, something like that, a bit like a beggar or something nobody would notice and would care. Uh, how come I cannot... Uh, uh, move. How, how do you click with a Mac on the, on the map? Uh, hold down, I guess. Shift command down? Mm. No, command. I think, I think it's just a long yeah. click if you can. Yeah, okay. So here uh, I will try to, to gather sure. discreetly some, uh, some, some rest of uh, boxes and maybe clothes that are laying along, around a piece of cloth. Sure, there's plenty of debris just, around so you could... Yeah, debris, just try to, to blend in and be... Okay. Okay, yeah, so you position yourself, go ahead and move your, your token over there and then yeah. we'll move yeah. off this map. That way we'll yeah, move like this. Okay, got it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move us then. So I guess everyone else, the, the Molly and Fervis are heading back to the Nymphs Rest. Is that right? Mm. Yeah. All right. Let, it, let me see if I can move you guys back there. Uh, 
Oh, and we have actually a person to check up on, don't we? Yeah. Neat. Wow, still a very lively bar. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're drinking at all times. All right. Uh, let's go, Molly. Let's go. I guess. Um, howdy. So Ian Murray sees you come in and holds up his hand and says, Welcome back. How was your, how was your day? Uh tiring nothing <laughs> uh, we need a rest good EMR uh, oh by the way uh, I mean oh my god what, what is the name of the the fur book we should check up on he actually didn't give you a name he just he didn't gave you a sort of description yeah. okay uh, oh before we go to sleep uh uh, we were wondering if there was a, a Sverbog like yourself um, uh, hospitalized here. Uh, he he or she uh, should have like uh, very bad burn marks, and uh, the doctor is uh, just worried about that person. So, Emir was in the midst of pouring an ale while while you were talking, and the. The, the beer mug, the ale mug sort of overflows with beer as he sort of just stares at you and forgets what he was doing. Uh-oh. And he says, what? Uh, Sotonos, Sotonos, you said. Sotonos said that. Yeah, yes, exactly. Dr. Sotonos, yeah. Uh, I try to keep uh, quiet about uh, refugees. Uh, and he says this very quietly to you. Oh, refugees here um they they they're here because they're afraid um and anyway there are we don't know who we can trust and who we can't but i suppose that you are all already aware of those that are uh being taken care of in, uh, in my cellar um, yes uh, actually um the elf um said that he He's seen a couple, well, a lot of people down there in the cellar. Yes. Well, let's, uh, again, I, I, uh, I'm concerned about too many people knowing about this. I do my best to keep it quiet. Let's, let's go to the cellar and, ah, uh, sure. and uh, talk there. Yeah, so. show me your best wine. <laughs> so he, he indicates the, uh, the, the stairwell down. Okay. Hello, and ask you guys to go down there. I unfortunately don't have a map of that. That's um, right. So we'll just imagine that. So you go down the stairway. Uh, there's a there's a door right at the end of the stairs that opens up um, into a fairly large cellar, typical uh, in cellar with with um, shelving filled with different supplies and and barrels with ale um, and uh, spread out on the floor of, of the stone cellar are mattresses and blankets uh, that are that are quite filled. And there's around uh, 20 or so uh, refugees of different races, um, primarily um, nymphs, furbolgs, and tieflings. Um, and they all seem to be um, a very quiet, sort of huddling and, and, and avert, avoiding your eyes. Um, some of them appear to be injured. Um, and uh, so Ian Mayer takes you to uh, to a corner where it's where there's no really refugees around, and he says, "So, so what is it that uh, that Sotonos asked you?" I, I'm sorry, I, I I was taken a little bit by surprise. Hmm. Uh, I pause for a few seconds, looking at Molly if she wants to talk. No, I say okay. nothing. Okay. So, uh, Doctor Sotonos just wanted to know if. Uh, that person is uh, all right because uh, he was supposed well he or she was supposed to go back to the hospital after all those 
those burns, I heard uh, the burns were, were terrible, the wounds. Yes. You are uh, speaking of uh, Orwell, I'm sure. Uh, oh, Orwell. He was here about seven weeks ago, uh, just for a short time. Uh, I, I did what I could to tend to him and feed him for his wounds for, for a few days. Um, but, well, he, he left. I, 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 I think he was uh, uh, bunking near Sorrow, um, who I could introduce you to, and he might be able to, to tell you more about him. Um, and he, he sort of indicates over to, uh, to someone that's sort of huddled in a pile of blankets on the other side of the room. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, did you say Sorvel? Uh, sorrow. Uh, S-A-R-R-O. -S sorrow. Okay. Sorrow. Uh, or maybe I mistyped it anyways. Uh, mm, okay. Um, just one question. Uh, is this Sorrel you mentioned? Uh, oh, Sorrel. Okay. It's... Um, is the leader of uh, the refugees, maybe? No, no, no. Uh, he he's just uh, has nowhere to go, like so many of these refugees. He's been I here see. longer than most. Uh, many refugees that, that come through here uh, only stay for days, sometimes maybe a week. Um, but Saro has been here for just about well, one of the longest. But there there are no there are no leaders of the refugees there. Um, other than, you know, family members that, that stay together, I suppose. Okay. I guess um, now is the time. Uh, no time like the present. Uh, I guess uh, we walk up to said uh, Mr. Sorrow um, and uh, greet him properly. Uh, good evening. So it's uh, Sor a uh, a furbolg which you know were like eight feet tall and very bulky and he sort of pulls himself out of his blankets. He's, he looks fairly old, um, but but very very scrawny for a furbolg. Um, he looks like he's you know he's he's had some rough days, um, and he looks up at you and and uh, you know acknowledges your presence. Uh, this is. Uh... Molly and uh, my name is Fervers. Uh, we came with the Doncast. Was it Doncast, right? Uh, uh, yeah, so the Don, Don, uh, the Doncast, yes. Yeah, uh, we came uh, via the Doncast to uh, Port Galwatch, and uh, well, we're here to let's say try to fix things. Uh, uh, I was wondering if you know about uh, a, another furbolg uh, called uh, or Oral. I'll put you a bit Oral, up. yeah. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Sorvor is uh, worried about uh, Borbog. Uh, Bor yep. Ah, oh, Sotens. Um, okay, now I can remember. Okay. <laughs> um, so when he hears uh, the name Burbulk, he, he 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 sort of the, you can see the recognition in his face, and he he looks at you and he looks over at Ian Mayer, and Ian Mayer sort of nods to him and he says, "Yes, uh, yes, I know Burbulk. He was he was here some time ago. He was he was badly injured and burned." Um, we, we talked for some time uh, to pass the time, you know, there's, there's nothing to do down here. And it, we all are curious about each other's unpleasantries, as, as bad as that may be. Um, he, he told me a very disturbing story. Uh, and he looks again at, at Ian Mayer and says, I, I, I don't know if it's okay to, to, to talk about this. There's, there, there are many people out there that that could do me harm for, for talking about this. Um, I guess uh, I look at Molly. Uh, 
the look back at um, uh, Borborg and say, uh, friend, you can trust us. We're here for the benefit of uh, of Portugal. Watch. And he sort of looks at you and, and Ian looks at Ian Mary and there seems to be calm. calm. Um, give me a uh, roll. Um, roll? <laughs> <laughs> roll okay. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> just a roll? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to roll um, Persuasion. Yeah. Because I don't have any modifiers on it. Yeah. Ah, good. So he looks at you and, and he sees the uh, old man face looking yep. calmly and, and trustworthily back at him. And he says, well, I suppose that's what he wanted. He, he, he said that he needed people to know about this. And it, it's why he said he left. The story he told me was shocking. Uh, to say the least. He, he told me that he was out around one of the Gates districts. I, it might have been, might have been around Southgate, I, one of the South Gates, I, I think. I'm not entirely sure, but he was there looking for work. Uh, There's more work to be, to be had at the, uh, the South Gates than, than other parts of this town. And he was there when he, he told me that uh, a group of rough looking tieflings led by a uh, a centaur uh, told him, came up to him along with another herbal that he was with and, and, and told him that they were, they were trying to gather refugees together um, and, and they said that a new ship had agreed to take some refugees to a safe place oh. and, and they were told that if they wanted to, to get out, they had to meet on the docks that night to, to go to the ship. And the ship was going to leave that that morning. So if they wanted to get out, they, they had better show up. And Erbolk, well, you know, he told me he thought it was strange to meet in the middle of the night, but he didn't want to miss the chance, you know. I mean, all of us, we've had such a hard time here. And the, the thought of being able to to get out is is something that, that we all would jump at. I can't blame him. So he did it. He, he went there in the middle of the night to the docks and... Well, they told me that about 15 refugees or so, 12 or 15, uh, all arrived there and the, the centaur and the tieflings were there, loaded them onto long war boats and told them to, to follow as their lead boat rode out uh, into, the, into the bay. And they rode and they rode and they rode. Uh, but when they finally arrived at the ship, well, Mr. Boberg, he told me that there was no one on, on, on deck and he thought it was very strange, but the centaur set up a ladder and they all were told to climb aboard. And when they did, they, 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 they were then told they, they needed to go below. And it was, it was strange. They, Herbal told me that he was afraid because he smelled the smell of, of tar and he didn't mm -hmm. like the smell of it, but he was told that if they wanted to get out, they must they must go below quickly. So they went below decks and were told to wait there when the 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 uh, the um, I'm losing the word for it the um, the the gangway door was was sealed on, on top of them. The hatch was closed. Uh, the refugees they, and and Burbog, where they all waited together. Uh, for, for a long, long time, but everything was silent and, and no one came for them. There were just creaks of people walking on the decks above. And then he told me that smoke started to come through the cracks of the hatchway. And they, they started to shout to, to, to the, uh, the people that had brought them there, but there was no answer. They then tried to get out, but the hatch, it was locked and the portholes were too small to climb out of. Uh, they then heard a loud pounding sound on the side of the ship. It seemed to come from outside and reverberated along the length of the, the, the port side, the left side of the ship. And then water started to leak in and then smoke and heat started to fill the cabin. The, the refugees started to panic and they all started running in every direction. So they tried to break out of the hatch, uh, but, but it was too strong and they were too weak after 
not having enough food. The water started to rise and the oxygen was starting to fade and there were some were overtaken by smoke. Erbolg eventually was able to uh, break open the hatch, but at that point, the, the, the cabin below was already filled with, with fire and flame and, and most of the refugees had succumbed to, to, to smoke and had, had sunk below the water that had already filled the cabin. Uh, Burbol was able to carry one of the other refugees free and, and, and made it to the top. Uh, and, and he told me that he, he went overboard with a refugee and, and swam away from the ship that was now burning behind him. He, he made it to shore, but the other that he was trying to carry didn't make it. Burbog almost drowned himself and finally was able to, to climb out onto shore uh, where he eventually made it to the hospital and saw Dr. Sochnos and made it here a few days later. That's all I know of his story. He, he was here for a few days and said that eventually he, he must tell somebody about this, that he was hearing stories from refugees that the refugees were responsible for, for the sinking of a ship and he was afraid that uh, for what would happen to the refugees. And uh, he said he was going to go tell Sirius himself. Um, he left the next morning and I have not seen him since. Hmm. Uh, listening to the story, uh, Fervus drops a tear and says, uh, That sounds like a tragic, tragic story. Uh, wow. Well, uh, thank you for telling us all that. Uh, well, that must have been a terrible experience for those refugees uh, getting betrayed and then uh, being stuck on that ship. Uh, Yes, um, I, I, I presume the ship was uh, the Ertica. I don't know the name of the ship. I, I see. I don't think he did either. It was, he just said it was, you know, it was one of the great ships that, that came from across the sea. Yes. Uh, well, to tell you our part of the story, uh, we did come across a ship um, that is now sunk. Uh, well, I mean, can, can can you still call that bit the port? Don't, well, I mean, you not say far. It's, it's yeah, yeah, you can say like say at the edge of the harbor, maybe. Uh, yeah, so at the edge of the harbor, uh, we did find traces of tar uh, on the sunk Ertica, which makes me believe that we're talking about the same ship. Uh, tragic, uh, and we did find uh, uh, corpses of uh, the natives on said ship. Uh, makes sense. He nods gravely and sort of his head held down, and he says, uh, "If if you were able to find Erbolg, I would be grateful. He was a a kind person um, and very troubled." And, and still quite wounded. Um, but please, there's uh, these, these people that, that seem to be the ones who, who caused the refugees to go to their demise. They're, they're still out there and they're, they're, they're quite dangerous, I think, to all of us. And if they find out that I was the one that told you, I, I don't, I, they're yeah. going to kill me. Very not. Um, this is our secret. And I look at Molly and look back at the guy. Um, we are, yeah, as said before, we, we are here to fix uh, these problems. We were sent here to reestablish the trading route. Uh, yes, um, seems like there is much to do. But, well, as you said, we should look for Mr. Burbog uh, to find out uh, who betrayed them. Yes. Mm, understood. Well, uh, I wouldn't like to disturb your sleep and we, we both, and I look at Molly and uh, yeah, 
seeing her troubled expression and her fatigue, uh, we would also probably call it a day. Um, we also have two more uh, people uh, with us. Uh, uh, one is an elf who uh, allegedly uh, might have seen down here uh, skulking about. And the other one is a, a halfling. Uh, we are a team and uh, they are out scouting for probably the people that uh, you said that are responsible for for these for these disturbances but uh, yeah we should all take a rest today and uh, continue tomorrow if um, you have any other uh, info you have to share um, you can find us around town uh, yeah Please and be I look, look at they, Molly. Are, they are dangerous, and I, I'll, I will trust that you will, you will not say anything about where you got your information. And I only pray that they don't deduce the same for for all of us here. Yes, yes. Uh, but uh, well, just to be sure, not all tieflings are uh, uh, in cohorts with uh, the bad guys. Correct? You're, you're asking him that he. he he sort of pauses and, 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 and tries to, you can see him sort of scrunching his brow to try to understand the meaning of what you've said. And then his sort of realization hits him and says, no, 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 these, I, I don't know who these are, I, but they are bad people. They're just like anywhere, there are good people and there are bad people. We, it's not all the tieflings. I mean, you look here and he, he points to, to other, you know, the several other tieflings that are huddled there as refugees. Oh, I didn't and, see them. Yeah. Molly, roll perception. Sure. I was hoping you'd, you'd do that. <laughs> yeah. And Molly, you, look, you turn around and you see uh, his family staring at you and you recognize Oh, come on! <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> oh. Good. And there's a little boy waving at you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Uh, I wave back. <laughs> oh, friends of yours, Molly? Kind of. Maybe. <laughs> okay, so so the um, he says uh, uh, for Bolg, I've already forgotten his name myself. Um, says you know I I wish you good luck. And uh, again, if you if you can find any trace of Burbolk, what happened to him or where it went. Uh, I, I would be grateful to know. And he, yes. that he sort of turns over and he pulls the blankets over his head. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, just a quick look around. Do we see the old lady Furbog down here? No, she was at the hospital. She's she... still at the hospital. Okay. Yeah, you left her there. She, she went to one of the tents. And was I was just wondering if she felt better and came back down here, but okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, Molly, shall we? Yeah, let's go. All hey, right. You guys turn around and start sort of, yeah, there, there's, there are, you know, there are these refugees that are just piled sort of in, in well, stretched out in blankets and mattresses haphazardly um, through this room. So you're sort of stepping over them as you go through, heading back towards the staircase, and Imar's taking a lead. Um, and you step past us, this, this one. Uh, sort of huddled mass, and suddenly, uh, as as you go past, uh, this woman tiefling sits up from from a blanket and and shouts, "Thief! You thief! That belongs to my Nemiria. Where is she? Where is she? What have you done with her?" And she's looking at Molly as she says that and pointing at Molly's chest. What? And all the other um, refugees are now hiding under their blankets. And Ymir turns and stares and says, what? I, this is my father's thing. What are you talking about? She says, that, that is, and as she does that, hold on, she is pointing.
of course, at Molly's pendant. Can you guys see that? Wow. So Molly, what do you do? Uh, I kind of grab uh, Fairwood's arm and hide behind him. I'm not going to roll hide. I mean, I hide behind him and I say, what are you talking about? This is my father's one. That, 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 that was given to Namiria. That, that was given to her. Uh, and, and, and let me see that. Uh, where is she? No, I, I hold my I hold my pendant. They say you're not going to get my pendant like this. Give me a um, sleight of hand roll. Sure. <laughs> I'm oh, really good. Okay, <laughs> you hide it well. And she says she starts she starts crying um, hysterically. And she's holding her her, uh, her uh, head in her hands and just weeping. May I may I do any kind of check to see if she's credible? Yeah. Um, one second. So I guess um, it would either be investigate, oh, inside, I'm sorry, it's inside. Yeah, give me an inside check. It's a 13. 13, okay. Um, so to you, yeah, I mean, she seems like she is like legitimately crying and weeping and from her tone of her voice, she sounded very sincere in her belief. Then I, I get off of uh, Fervus back. And I approach her while still holding my pendant and I say, you really look troubled, but there is a misunderstanding here. Why don't you tell me more about this friend of yours and where she exactly she got this pendant? Well, it's, it's not, it's not my friend. It's my daughter, Nymeria. She, 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 it was, it was, she was given the, the pendant on, on our, our flight here to, to this place. We were running for our lives, and it, it doesn't matter. But but she had it. She had that with her uh, when when I lost her in the streets. Uh, that was that was two nights ago. I don't know where she is. Uh, if you have it, then then you must know her. You must have done something. What, what what did you do with her? And she looks up. How are you holding the pendant? I'm sorry, woman. There is a misunderstanding here. Really, this is my father's pendant. And you can you, have a closer. You can have a closer look at it, and I hold it. And she, she's crying, and she's hardly able to look up. But she, she looks up at it, um, and then, her, she sort of her breath sort of stops, and she looks at it again. She sort of reaches out her hand towards it. Do, do you let her reach out towards it? I don't want her to touch it. Okay. She reaches out towards it, but you, you back away a little bit. She looks. She says, "The stone." What color is that stone? It's a red one. Red? No, that's not right. That's not right. No, no, Nymeria, my, my Nymeria is pendant. It, 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 is, it is yellow, it is not red. Whoa, whoa, I don't understand. Those kind of pendants are common from men of the sea. She received it from a sailor. No, it was not a sailor, it was it was a fairy that, that, that was also fleeing uh, to, to this place. Uh, we, we met her in the woods on the way here and uh, the fairy, she was, she was also very upset. And, and when she saw my Nymeria was, was so sad from the things that had happened to us, she, I guess she felt sorry for her and, and gave it to her. She said that it meant nothing to her anymore. It, it would do her no good. And so she just gave it to her. And then, and then we lost her uh, maybe two days outside of, of this place. And we eventually arrived. And when we arrived, we were, we were at the gates. We were, we were looking for food, for help. And that's when I lost my Nymeria. That was two days ago. Wait a second. You say 
You say the fairy. The fairy, yes. Can you describe it, Har? Oh, she had the most beautiful wings. She was kind, yes, the young fairy. Um, uh, she was running to, uh, from, from something that had happened to her, like so many of us, I suppose. Uh, she was beautiful, young, uh, but, but looked horribly, horribly frightened and, and, and just so terribly sad um, as us. But yet, even though she was so sad, she, she still took pity on my Nymeria and, and, and gave her this gift. Uh, but that, that is all I can tell you. She, her name was, uh, she said, was Aragold. Uh, one second. I watch Fergus. Then I watch Fuck This Lady. And they say, I think I will look for your daughter. Ah, Erigold. Uh, yeah, and the daughter's name, let me give you the daughter's name again. I think I will look for your daughter, but I would like you to tell, to describe me your daughter features and exactly where you meet this fairy. It might help. Uh, my daughter, she's you know, dressed just in rags. That's all we have. Um, she is, she is like me. She is tiefling. Uh, she, uh, she has um, her horns have, have barely come in. Um, she's uh, has the most beautiful, uh, kind, red eyes you've ever seen. Uh, you will you will surely recognize her from that. Mm. And I thank you so much. I, I I'm sorry that I accused you. I, I I I just when I saw the pendant, I I I was sure that oh, I just had a bad feeling. I still have a bad feeling. She, my Nymeria, she's in danger. Okay, lady, I, we will look for your daughter. And she nods and sort of huddles back into her blankets and just is, starts sobbing. Then I start thinking why a fairy would give an, a replica of my pendant. It's my, I, I start to think about my father and things like that. And yeah. Stop talking, yeah. Yeah. Um, Ian Mayer sort of takes a deep breath and says, oh, this is uh, a lot happening, much more than, than, than usual for, uh, for, for the seller. Um, maybe we should get out before uh, we have more excitement. And he sort of beckons you back up, to, up the stairs. I watch Barbos. Mm. I would really like to find that kid. Uh, understood. Uh, sure. I'm with you. Okay. So you guys uh, go get back up the stairs and um, back up into the main room. And Amir says, uh, it seems like the uh, two of you and the rest of your group have a lot cut out for you. Uh, I don't envy you. Um, it's uh, there. There, there are those that may not be happy if you are poking around too much. Uh, would you like uh, to have a uh, a drink on the house before you turn in? And as you're doing that. Um, Captain Glover um, uh, sees you come up from the stairs and says, "Oh, you're back. Uh, or at least some of you are. I hope. I hope the others are all right. Uh, I just wanted to remind you about uh, our mission, which I'm sure you have not forgotten. And you look a little bit of sightseeing is well and good in order. Um, but uh, have you made any progress in in, in locating uh, Master Ofric?" 
Uh, uh, I'm afraid not yet, but uh, rest assured, we we do have uh, our uh, our quest uh, fresh in our heads. But uh, talking about freshness, uh, we kind of need to rest. And says I understand. All right. Well. Tomorrow, then, I hope you can make some progress. He, he does have a, a place in town. Uh, you could probably get directions there from, uh, oh, I don't know, from, from one of uh, his crew, I would imagine, could tell you where, where he is. Um, ah. In any event, I'll leave you to it. It's already late, and I have more ale to drink. And he goes back. To yes, uh, I think we're going to pass up on the ale, but uh, yeah, see you tomorrow. He sort of just waves. Um, Imar says, uh, shall, I, shall I show you to your room then? Uh, that would be best, yes. Right. So he starts heading to the door. You follow? Oh, there? Okay. Yep. As you do, Jacob, your old chess playing friend calls oh out calls out to you and says oh Furbus uh, another match yes uh, another match another day uh, yes uh, will definitely but not right now I'm sorry oh, I understand you're afraid of uh, doing another rush with me uh, no worries oh, well, when you find your courage again <laughs> you'll know where to find me hey before you go I just needed to let you know there was someone here looking for you for you lot uh, he was uh he was here on, on behalf of uh, Salrius, Attaché Salrius, you know, who, who runs the place. He said, uh, you should, uh, Salrius wants you to, to pay him a visit sometime at your convenience in the morrow. Uh, all right, uh, Salrius, uh, we're going to have a very busy day, but I think we can fit him in. So, uh, very good, very good. Well, I'm back to my drink. You know where I am. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Uh, Buddy. Uh, so yeah. Amar uh, leads you further. He says, uh, so are you bunking together or separate rooms? I guess we do separate. Separate oh, rooms? I, I, watch, I watch the old guy and say, together, please. <laughs> oh, really? All <laughs> right. Mm, and he, so Amar sort of looks at the dream and says, well, separate beds, I assume. And he leads you over to, oh, this is all darkened. Hold on, let me lighten this up for you. Oh, there? Okay. Okay, can you see oh. that? Yes. Okay, and so it takes you to, I don't see where the door is. Oh, I see, because, no, what? These doors and these maps are really hard to see. I think, I guess it's got to be this way, even though I don't see a door there. I don't see other any way to get in there. So it leads you to this room where there are two bunks. Perfect. And he says, all right, I will uh, leave you to it. If you need any food or ale, uh, it's on the house. Just come in and find me. I'll, uh, I sleep occasionally, uh, but I'll be uh, in the uh, cellar if you need to find me there. All right. Thank you. Daddy waves. Uh, you two have a good nest. Says, Thank you very much. And he heads back into the bar. And I trip and I fell on the bed. <laughs> That's a table, I think. Is that a bed? No, you... no that is a bed. Oh. Yeah, no, that is a bed. You're right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so just a quick update for um, Elvin and uh, Eleanor. There's, uh, you guys are still huddled uh, there where you were around the, um, around the dilapidated building. Um, probably... Uh, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half has gone by at this point. It is probably around 10 p.m. Um, and uh, there's been no movement so far. You hear occasional um, low voice talking coming, you know, emanating from the windows. Um, someone has lit a torch on the inside as it got darker. Um, so there is some light coming out from the inside. Uh, you hear occasional sort of muffled laughter. Uh, coming from inside, but but that's it. Um, no one has come out. 
And I assume you guys are just staying there and keeping watch. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, all right, and the two of you are bunking down. And getting some shut eye, I assume, is that right? Molly and uh yeah. yeah, we just yeah just, just dying bed. Is, just yeah, dying the bed. We are really tired. Got it. Okay. I am going to say by the way, just for because this map is so bad, um that the door is here. Is it somewhere? Okay. Is yeah. that right? That's and if fine. there's a window, yeah. um there's also a small window here. Okay. Mm. Interesting that you point out where the door is. All right. So, um, you gonna sleep? Are you gonna um, set watches or anything? Or no. I mean, at least I think we just both crash out. Yep. Yep. Okay. Um, all right. I mean, we, we presume that we are in a safe place. Or we just don't care anymore because we're so tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess we presume so. I mean, yeah. I'm a bit careless, to be yeah. honest. Okay. There's nothing in particular that's, you know, raising your hackles. Yeah. But the reason I wanted to stay in the same room because she's still scared. She doesn't yeah, want to. Makes stay sense. Yeah. Makes mm -hmm. sense. Sure. Okay. Uh, all right. So um, you guys all uh, bed down and back at the abandoned building. Um, uh, both Elvin and uh, Eleanor are resting. I, I assume they're take, keeping watch um, in turn. And I guess I'm just assuming based on how it was left that. Um, Eleanor is taking the first watch of that, but if that's not right, then guys just speak up. Um, so the sounds from the bar you can hear in the distance, but they are not keeping you awake. Um, uh, you slowly fade into sleep as Molly is grasping her, her amulet to her chest um, and thinking of uh, the stories of her father at sea uh, that were told by her mother. Um, you drift off into sleep, and yes, I'm sure Fervis. Yeah, snores. it's, it's a decent snore. <laughs> um, okay, you are sleeping, and um, about two hours later, you think, um, Molly, you have this sense of something, something urgent, something something that requires you to, to wake up, to, 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 to force yourself out of your deep sleep. Um, at first you think it's just Fervis's snoring and an occasional gasp, but no. <laughs> <laughs> it's something perhaps more urgent than that. Uh, if I get this feeling, I... And, and I can, I immediately wake up. You wake up and you sit up in bed and you look over and on top of the, uh, the empty bed there on the lower left corner, you see exactly, you see um, your spirit um, who at this point is taking the form of sort of a, uh, a softly burning ember flame, not the bright, uh, uh, passionate, violent, uh, reckless flame of, of fully um, uh, active spirit, but, but more of a, a soft glowing uh, form. Um, and you see her looking out the window uh, and uh, peering out there and sort of shifting on her feet back and forth. And she turns to you and from her expression, although there are no words spoken because she's not able to speak words and you, you were still able to get the sense that there is something in her flaming face that, that expresses desperation and fear and almost to the state of panic. What's happening, little one? 
He wanted me to go out. And with that, I wish I don't have a token for her, do I? Can I do another? I usually, token I, I usually I doubled. Yeah, we just used Molly. Okay. Well, yeah, great. Okay, you did that one. Great. Let me take that one. Yep. So um, she goes to the. Oh, that's is that you? Sad, like, okay. yeah, yeah. Maybe that's sad. I. So, that one doesn't have the um the bar above it, so that's. Yeah. I mean, this red dot. Oh, great! Perfect. Yeah, perfect. So she goes to the door and sort of just waits by the door, which is currently closed. I follow her. Okay. Um, I open turns, the door. Okay. And she steps out. She turns back and looks back at, um, at Ferbus, who is still sleeping uh, soundly. I shall call him. And she sort of steps back in, stands by his head. I... I sh I shake him. I am. Uh, 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 what? 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 Are Is we on the track? Don't ask question and come. Uh, okay. Uh, my old bones. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay, and so she she keeps uh, going ahead and looking back to see if you're following, and then sort of pops forward. Of course I follow. Okay. Give me one second. While I'm doing this, um, you guys have all had a short rest. Um, so check your um, your hit points. And this goes also for um, Eleanor and for Elvin. And decide how many hit die... Your third level, so you have three hit die. So how many hit die you, you want to roll um, to, to go towards hit points. And... Oh. Go ahead and renew any abilities that will renew on a short rest. Yep. Uh, I'm not going to roll because I'm just using one because uh, I have minus two HP, so that's good then. Okay. And wild shapes. We. Um. Okay. But that's all. I think I think we only get wild shapes back. Yeah, we don't get anything else. Um. Well, I mean, that's something. Give me one second. But Ferris is very groggy. Um, all right, so um, she, uh, Molly's spirit starts leading you out of the nymph's rest and sort of down the streets and pathways um, oh. toward just here. Yeah. Um, so let me put you here first, and I'll show you where you're going. Okay, can you see where you're on the map? Uh, e the right. party token. Yeah, okay, that's right. I just want to make sure you can see, see the map. So yeah, yeah. you guys are um, over here at the Nymphs Rest. Over here. Mm -hmm. And you start, so she goes down this way. And then in this direction along here. And so, she, Richard, I, I, I don't see where we are on the map. Uh, oh, you're not on there? It's the green line? Yeah, the green yeah, line. Yeah, yeah. So we okay. start from there. Yeah, you okay. start at, you're at the Nymphs Rest and you're going that direction. Good. Okay, and you're um, so she keeps hopping in front, and uh, so let me move you now. Okay, I 
was always the H. I knew it. What's that? Nothing, nothing. <laughs> I think this is a hint. <laughs> I think this is a hint that the DM showing us. This will come back later on in the game. Definitely. What's that? What did I show? <laughs> did I show something I shouldn't have? No, I mean... <laughs> uh, we are joking, we are joking. Joking. About the placeholder. Uh, by the way, Richard, I found this image. If you want, you can use it for the sprite. You have a what? For the Wildfire Spirit. If you want to make a oh. different icon, I found this. Uh, wait, I'm not on that map right now. Let me let me get you. Pull them it's up. in the chat. It's in the chat. On the chat. Oh, there. Okay, so let's do that a little later. We'll, we'll, we'll get that set up. But it's, it's not going to be important for now. Um, where the heck am I going? Yeah, let's see. Here we go. Okay. Okay. So, you guys are, you spot, oh, okay, yeah, thanks. Some sort of a creature in front of you, yeah, um, that is walking away from you, and um, the spirit is sort of creeping along, following it. I follow. Okay. Um, you guys are passing close by to where um, both uh, Eleanor and Elvin are on the map. Um, do you want to keep following this thing or do you want to divert to where they are? It would be about a block away. Uh, Molly is too focused on following, but maybe Pyro is, you know? Mm, I mean, I don't think I even realize that we're close there, so I just keep following Molly. Okay. Okay. So, Let's you go follow back. this thing along, and... What kind of creature is this one? Can we... Yeah, uh, let me see if I can show you what it looks like. One second here. Uh, let me do it this way. Hmm. Oh, scary. Can you see it? Uh, I'm just zoomed in. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll show you a better picture of it. Um, I ask to my spirit, should they stop that? You ask to your spirit what? I ask to my spirit, should they stop that thing? Um, it, it's, uh, it, it sort of um, seems to cower a little bit in, in fear when you say that and uh, just looks at you. But she's still following him, right? Oh, this thing is horrible. All right, uh, how am I going to do this? I whispered to Molly in a half link. Are you sure? By the way, I speak half link. Oh, that's right. You're so cool. Yeah, I had no idea that we were going to have half link, but I just picked it randomly. <laughs> So, yeah. And then I answer in offering. I don't know, but I have to do it. So, question to the GM. Yep. You're still, he's moving away at a, at a walking speed. Yes, not this, not, it's not running. It's sort of, 
skittling, scurrying along in sort of a very gross kind of spider-like manner. Um, it will, it'll sort of skitter ahead a little bit and then stop and sort of like look around, but isn't looking behind it. And, and the spirit is down. still following. Yes. Okay, then I guess for the time being, it's better to just keep following. Mm. Is it close enough to, I don't know, to see what kind of beast or monster this is? Have you ever seen, both Molly and myself, have you ever seen such monster before? You have never seen anything like that before. Cool. Because um, me as a player, I have never seen this. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea what this is. Okay, um, so you're going to keep following it? I mean, if Molly is dead, I mean, I see Molly's determination, and I, tr I mean, it's a rare thing, so I trust it. Okay, so not too much further up, um, uh, the creature um, turns around a corner and you see the street sort of opening up into a small square. I, I definitely follow the creature. Uh -huh. Those maps, they're so yeah. beautiful. Man, I'm, I'm waiting to show you what I did with Shadowrun, maps, etc. to rival Richard. Uh, one second, make it right there here. There we go. Uh, no, let's try to, just a quick, uh, we, we are still uh, observing the street, right? Yeah, I think you guys are still, um, are you probably taking watches at this point? Because now it is um, about midnight. And oh. um, so you guys can tell me who's on watch. But either way, there has been nothing that's left the building. And as a matter of fact, at this point, the sounds inside the building have become quite quiet. You haven't heard any talking now in quite some time, whoever it is that's on watch. Okay. And there's still, there's still a, a light flickering from inside that, that building um, from the, the torch that was lit inside some time ago, you know, once sunset came. Um, okay, we need one more Molly here. For the, that. And then uh, this one. Okay. okay. Um, all right, so, uh, actually, let me move back. So, um, Molly Spirit stopped back here. And again, Molly Spirit is sort of in the, uh, the smoldering, not full of fire form. Um, and Andrea, if you remember what we talked about before, what that means, that's- Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I, I look at the Spirit looking for any kind of direction. Of course, I stop. And I ask her, do you want me to stop here? Um, okay, she's looking at you and then looking inside the square. Give me one second, I need to reveal some more to you guys. Do you want me to get inside this building? Hold on a second. Uh, you guys can see what's going on here in just one second. Okay. Things change. Oh. Oh. oh, hello. What the hell did we bump into? <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so you've just come up to this. Um, and you see in front of you, um, here is a uh, tiefling uh, dressed in a um, uh, uh, chainmail shirt um, fighting one of those creatures here. Um, there are another tiefling dressed similarly over here that um, is unconscious and bleeding on the ground. A creature here that similarly looks to be um, dead. It's missing a couple of arms. 
Um, it's got several others still attached. Um, and another dead tiefling here. There's another creature over here of the same sort that looks a little bit injured. Um, and here, huddling um, in fear is a young tiefling child. Here is a grotesque, hideous, demonic form looks like a goat with some sort of a serpent's tail and horns that is watching all of this goings on. Um, all of them are looking in that direction for the most part. Huh. Uh, to be honest, I try to act immediately and it's a combat action. Say it again. I would like to initiate combat directly. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, um, um, so just so you know, you were feeling this um, as you approach uh, this this open square. You start to feel inside of you this horrible, sickened kind of feeling that seems to be emanating um, from over here somewhere. Uh, I, I I don't see you pointing anywhere actually. You can't see. Oh, am I wrong? Yeah, I am. Uh, I didn't know I had to do that from over here. Uh huh. Wow. Yeah, I'm honestly hella scared. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, I want to initiate combat. It's kind of because I'm scared, I want to initiate combat. I, yeah, go for it. Yeah, I'm not like bravely doing it. Okay. Um, I'm surprised again. The uh, the spirit um, uh, shrinks back bef just before that and sort of looks behind you and then looks ahead and then looks at you. So what yeah, I know. The wise fix would be to call the team. <laughs> but yeah. I, I agree with her. But... Uh, No, maybe, maybe I can call to UGM, uh, kind of rule rule out myself a wisdom saving troll to see if I can act wisely. Sure. <laughs> and oh well, I can re-roll the one. But oh yeah, good. But yeah, it, you it, can, it, but you don't have to. Oh yeah, there is the twenty-three. So oh. So I guess uh, my feeling was to immediately try to cast a spell here because I, I fear for that kid. But I watch at Fergus and I say, we absolutely need to call the, the other guys. They are close by. Uh, yes. Uh, can you send your spirit to call them? I think we need to enter battle immediately. I look at the spirit and I say, do you remember what they are? Please call them. And the spirit takes off uh, in that direction. Uh, quick question. Is this a bonfire? Your guess is good as mine. <laughs> um, <it> okay. <laughs> yeah, well, if it's unintentionally there, then... No, no. Okay. It's, it's, I think anything that's, that you see here um, is here um, for purposes of tactical... Play. So whatever you want to do, you can assume that everything is there. And it, it's, to me, it looks like a looks like some sort of a campfire, perhaps. Something yeah, like right. And here as well, there's some some fire stuff. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, as long as it's not. Well, okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah, cool. I think it's I think it's really fine to have it there. Oh, that's yeah, a torch. That's stuff so I see. So these are torches, and that's just a bonfire in front of a temple. It seems like that. Yeah. Okay. This guy, by the way, is going over here all right i right if i can now i would really like to initiate combat yeah molly let's go do you, you okay yeah um, not, i know it's not wise i know it's not wise but tell me what you're going to do first before we initiate combat because once we actually initiate and roll initiative so i'm really worried for this kid here yeah so i want to get their attention the way I want to do it, I want to cast a Scorching Ray on uh -huh. this guy. Okay, so when you look over there, um, I want you to, uh, to, to describe what you see. So you see 
this creature over here, um, it has, it's holding some sort of a um, grayish looking, what looks like a rope, um, but it's, it's kind of, um, looks like a very frayed kind of rope um, made out of some sort of grayish substance. And it is binding this girl. Um, uh, oh, so, she, her up. so they're not attacking her. They're and, not attacking her. And the tiefling are fighting them. This one is fighting. This one is in combat. Hmm. With, uh, yes, sorry, I don't, you can't see that. This one, this, there is combat happening here. Okay. I see. Which uh, one is binding here? Is this one? This one, I guess. Yes, yeah. that's right. Okay. Yeah, because we, we don't see it when you say this here or here. It doesn't appear for some reason. Okay. Then uh, I guess. Yeah, go for it. I guess since the lady doesn't look in danger for now, while this guy looks in danger, I, I do the same action, but I actually target this guy. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see oh. how this is going to work. I'm going to, as we go on here, there, it is just a forewarning, I'm going to bend the rules here a little bit so we can actually have fun. Um, but let's go for it. Let's roll initiative. Okay. Mm. Coolio. By the way, does this girl look familiar? The tiefling girl? Uh, you can't really, it's, you can't honestly tell that well okay. from a distance. Um, cool, cool, all you can cool, tell cool. is it's a tiefling and uh, young and female. Yeah. Okay. Good, good, good. I forgot. Uh, it was a 20 action. 20. Uh, do initiative. Huh? Okay. Da, 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 da. Oh, jeez. Wow. Oh, 22. Yeah. But I feel like I should let you go first. Because <laughs> you initiate the combat, so... It would make sense for you to start it. Yeah, uh, you want to delay your action? Just move uh, on. I mean, isn't, like, if she does the thing, then that's yeah. a surprise round, and then we go into combat. Would that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense to me. Okay. So let me just do this. Um, yeah, I just don't want to, you know, uh, steal the the shine from, from Molly, because she said she wanted to blast one of those. Yeah, cool. Oh, wow. My... <laughs> This is one, obviously, uh, a scene that I haven't edited properly. So please ignore the tell. This is the spell? <laughs> I just my have last, my last level two. Okay. Um, oh. Scorching Ray. Okay. Yes, and I target... But by the way, just to give you a little more information, you could tell that that, that one that you just pointed at um, has... Uh, um, been in battle with the other one and is somewhat injured. Um, and the other one that just came up is fresh. So I, I actually, I want to make sure I have the less, best chances of finishing this one. So I use all three rays against this guy. Okay. I need to make a range, I guess, three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I need yep. to make three range to hit rolls. Okay, and it's just against their armor class? Yes, yes, I have five okay. spell attack bonus, so I'm going to roll. If you don't mind, I will use the dice roller. Yeah. This, I can reroll this one. Okay. So it's a 24, yep, that an hits. 8, and a 12. Okay, only one of them hits out of the three. And the one that hits those. What is 2d6, I think? Yeah, 2d6 fire. Okay. Is that a 12? No, it's a 4. It's a 4. Okay. Um, so the fire explodes on this thing's back and it shrieks um, in surprise and pain. Uh, 4. Okay. Um, and it starts to turn around. Uh, and it is Fervis's turn. I guess unless you can do anything else, well, you can move, I think, too, right? If you want. 
or take a bonus action if you have. Well, I move next to variable. That's all. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, that, that was good. Mm. Okay. Well, I remember Molly saying that the tieflings were attacked by some kind of giant wolf. Uh, and Elvin is not here to give me crap about the bear, so I'm gonna turn into a bear. Uh, so I'll turn into a bear. As a bonus action, uh, Fervus gradually, but quite swiftly, turns into a bear that has a beard. <laughs> as usual, a bearded bear. And uh, with bear has 40 speed. Oh jeez. How many hit points and what's your armor class? Yeah, I'll update that uh, oh. in a moment. Uh, oh, you're that... <laughs> yeah, cool. Ooh, I can just about reach that guy with 40 speed if yeah, you're doing you diagonals. Yeah, sure. Um, and I don't have a macro for the bear, unfortunately, so I will have to just roll it. So, multi attack, uh, one bite, one claw. I guess I go for the claw first. It's a D20 plus six. Eh! I suppose that's a miss. That is a miss. Okay, claw misses, but then follow it off with a bite to the face. Oh, dirty 20. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, he's oh, lucky because that's, that's, the, that, that's the highest damage. <laughs> What's the damage? Uh, 2d6 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. plus 4. 13 damage. 13 points of, uh, yeah, bear to the face. Giant bearded bear comes charging through the, the courtyard up to this uh, very startled and somewhat singed uh, spider-like creature mm. and slashes with its claw, missing it narrowly and then sinking its massive teeth into the face of this thing, getting a, a big taste of spider brain um, as its head just is crushed under your jaws. All right. And it is gone. It's gone. It's uh, I might have messed up the damage, though. Oh. Does five damage still? Five damage still does it. it was, okay, cool, cool, cool. It okay. Injured. Sorry, it's okay. 2d6 plus 4 for the claw and 1d8 plus 4 for the bite, but okay. Yep, yeah, still enough. Uh, it maybe doesn't quite explode to the same extent. Yeah, stuff, but okay. It's, it, the teeth sink in and it, it shudders in the spider like death throw and collapses. Yeah, I'll shake it around a bit, bear like. Um, <laughs> mm, and that's it, because I use my bonus action, my movement, and my action. Okay. So we're going to call this a surprise round. So um, let's see, do they have any. Bonus actions, they get they still get uh, reactions. Uh, let's see if anyone has yes. reaction. Let me see. Uh, I don't hmm. okay. um. And just turn, yeah, okay. Um, so, uh, Fervus Bear, oh, yeah, I, I need to you to make a constitution up. saving throw. Yes, that's yes, um, ooh, that's plus three only. Oh boy, oh, okay. I don't think I'm proficient, no, because my proficiency is nope, I'm not okay. That's a dirty 20 again. Wow, yeah, that's that'll do it. You feel. This wave of sickness sort of wash over you, but your bare strength shrugs it off and you give a shake and you you glare at this horned goat thing, which is now turning its gaze towards you and looking yeah. at you. Yeah, strength of the bear. Um, Eleanor and Elvin, um, in uh, DM privilege accelerated time, uh, you suddenly see this spirit form um, flare up uh, at the street uh, below you 
and okay. is beckoning wildly for you to, to follow it. Um, do, do we recognize it as something uh, that is uh, familiar to us and linked to, to, uh, to our companions? You, you, you have seen this before um, and you do recognize it. Not only that, but it has the striking image of looking very much like Molly, but, but Molly engulfed in flame, which okay. would normally frighten you and think that it's some horrible accident, but you have seen this before and you know that it is a spirit that, that appeared um, uh, once before when you were battling on the ship. Yeah, okay. By the way, I feel totally refreshed because I'm able to concentrate. Yeah. So I probably took uh, the opportunity to concentrate while I was observing. Uh, um. Yes. I, I think that okay. you do qualify for a short rest, both of you. As a matter of fact, a short rest doesn't actually require sleep. It just requires uh, stillness and not doing anything else and relaxing. So you guys are good if you need to do any sort of refreshing, but consider yourselves having taken a short rest and... Uh, um, I'm assuming that you're so after. we I, I get up and uh, I look around and try to see if I see Ele Eleonor. Eleonor is here. Okay, Eleonor has disappeared, so I probably uh, follow the, um, the spirit. Okay, you, uh, you're on the street level, so you start chasing after it. Zia, are you there? Are you there? No, he, he, may have, he, may have, he may have taken a break thinking that he was not going to be possibly involved in this. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to say that, his, that he has seen this and he's, he's trying his best to, uh, to leap across the building and follow along on the roof. Okay. Uh, may I ask uh, the spirit questions on the uh, way? Probably not because it's, it's turned and it's running uh, away from you at this point. Well, so at I, I do run, I run, I run for behind the, the spirit. Yes. Um, okay, going back, it is now uh, Molly's turn. Uh, that's the end of the surprise round. Uh, so this is the top of the action again. Molly, go ahead. Okay, I was muted. Uh, so I guess for now, I will simply cast a firebolt on this one. Okay. Uh, it's a 21, 21 to hit and eight damage. Yeah. Yep. Okay. You hit it. It, it again. It hits it um, in its chest this time, and uh, it shrieks, and you can see the smoke coming up. Uh, but it's still standing. Yeah, of course. Um, so it's just a single fireball, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's all. It's a country. You can't expect it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, anything else? No, not for now. I stay here. I'm keep my position here. Okay. And that's it for now. Okay. And the creature's, you know, hissing at you as angrily as it as it sort of tries to pat out the uh, the, the 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 singeing on its on its sort of hairy fur, spider-like fur, with one of its forearms. The four arms or six arms? One of its many arms. <laughs> um, okay, Furvis, the bear. Mm -hmm. um, do does Furvis realize who tried to hex him? You get a very strong sense that it's coming from this guy over here. Mm -hmm. Well, I do and, like you that. Can still, you can still feel this gross feeling of, of just nauseousness coming towards you. It wasn't like a flare-up. It was like when you entered in and got closer to it, the feeling got worse and worse. Yes. All right. I feel compelled to investigate. Um, hi, Bull. Uh, all right. Let's try this again. Um, claw first. Ooh, 21. I'm sure that's going to be hit. Let's see. Yep, that hits. Okay. Two, so this is a 2d6 plus 4. <laughs> 10. Uh, oh, that's the second hit? Or is that the damage? Uh, oh, no, sorry, there's a damage, my bad. Damage. So okay. that's yep. uh, 10 so slashing. That was a claw, right? Yeah, that's the slash, yeah. So you charge over to this, this thing where you're sort of overcoming your, your nauseousness and bear drool coming down from your teeth. 
as yep. the sickness washes over you slash out of the thing with your with your claw and uh you rake into its right arm and it ah. screams at you oh good good that he's screaming because now i'm gonna bite his face uh i'll try to uh 13 uh 13 does not hit oh he dodges past it wow well as he dodges past uh I would like to stand on two uh hind legs. <laughs> on your hind feet? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Hind feet. And um try to give it a backhand slap. Wow, can you do that? It's amazing. Okay. Uh yeah, well that's the that's the monk thingy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The, uh, the bear foo. Yeah, the bear foo. Uh which in this case I guess I have to use strength, so that's the same thing. Yeah, so that's ooh, 24 to hit, but it's only going to be... takes him by clear surprise. <laughs> yeah, it's just a uh, <laughs> uh, bear foo. Uh, but this th this is only going to be a uh, 1d4 plus... Uh, I think I can still use strength as a monk. Yeah, I can. Okay. Yeah, yeah, uh, you can. Yeah. A measly seven points of damage. That's a I... solid he hit for a he third. Says measly. <laughs> <laughs> and you you hit him in his in his in his uh goat like snout and you know snaps his head back and he's he is utterly taken by surprise by this by this bear. Oh yeah, that's even better. Like just punch him in the snout. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> you see the, the the eyes you know watering a little bit. He looks he looks very upset. Uh, I look down on him and end my turn. Okay. Um, great. Okay. Let me see this thing here. So we are now here. Okay. Um, so this is really cool. That one is dead. So that's gone. And this one. Okay. Um, this one uh, moves to charge at Molly. Uh, yeah, sorry Molly, I thought I I draw aggro. Seems like I didn't. Uh, this is one was just hit by Molly's right. fireball. So oh, okay. Well, that makes why. sense. Okay. Um, as it runs over here, this um, this fighter guy uh, takes a swing at, as an attack, attack of opportunity. So, how do I do that? Um, okay. Is the fighter guy confused at all? Yeah, he, at looks, he looks absolutely, <laughs> absolutely shocked by this bear thing that came up and ripped the face off of the thing that it was fighting. Um, and all this fire like, magic from fire the magic. side of the temple. He does look very, very shocked. Basically, oh. I'm a wizard with my familiar here. Yeah, you are. Uh, does this work? I don't know if this is set up right. Let's see what happens. Oh, I'm on the wrong thing. That's why. Okay, here we go. Uh, and he swings, but he misses. As it as this creature thing flies past him. <coughs> um, the creature then finishes its run and is now face to face with Molly and is just hissing at her madly. Um, but that is all it can do. Um, next one. This creature, uh, the goat uh, demonic horned creature, um uh lashes out at the bear mm -hmm. with a barbed tail 11 is my ac so i'm pretty easy to hit oh yeah oh yeah um okay so let's see you have to um roll a constitution saving throw and i take 12 damage right okay you take 12 damage and can't save. Alrighty. Oh, 19. Oh, 
You save. Sorry. Um, what would have a poisoned? Point. Oh my god, I'm glad I saved. Yeah. Shit. Wow, this guy is nasty. Wow. Uh, okay, so the uh, the barbed tail rakes across your uh, your chest as you're standing up on the two bare feet, and uh, and uh, hits you quite uh, strongly, drawing bare blood. Yeah. What's your wow? By the way, and you said you. I'm sorry, I missed what you said. Your AC was. Uh, me. Yeah. Uh, human. No, your uh, your hit points in your bear form and your AC in your bear form. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I I I updated my token. Oh, it's on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's on me. Yeah. So I'm. Oh, uh, so you have it in that cell. So you have 24 hit points left and 11 AC. Yes, that's correct. I mean, he took a quite big chunk. <laughs> actually, yeah, that right. was a really good good swipe. Got it. Okay. Um, that. So you've already had your turn. Sorry, you have to roll another Constitution saving throw. Yes. Oh, I'm I'm on fire. 20. Sorry, dirty twenty. You're you're fine. Again, you feel this sickness sort of wash past you, um, but you uh, you were able to resist it. Ah. Huh. Okay. Um. Okay. This guard. Um, uh, sort of turns around, tries to figure out what assesses the, you know, the situation, and runs over here to uh, attack this thing that is in the process of tying up this girl. Um, and uh, swing and misses entirely. The blade just sweeps over this this spider-like creature as it ducks out of the way. And that is all he does. Um, wait one second. Yep, and he has to roll a constitution saving throw. And you see him double over with um, and starts retching as he does that. And sorry, one second. Oh. And he looks quite sick. Um, okay. Um, the creature that he ran up to now turns to him and takes a swipe back at him. Uh, missing with the first one. Attacks again, misses again, and attacks a third time, missing again. So three rapid swipes with the multiple arms with, with daggers held in each one. And somehow this, this retching soldier manages to block out of the way and one, one of the blades uh, chinks against his, his chainmail armor but does not seem to hurt him. Um, and that is it. Um, Elvin and Eleanor um, and the uh, Molly Sprite um, are just coming around the corner. Zia, are you back? We lost Zia. Is him. there my token somewhere around? Um, your token hasn't quite made it onto the page yet. Uh, sorry, I'm here. My mic was muted. Sorry. Oh, okay. Ah, okay, cool. Did, did you follow along what was going on? That uh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay, okay. Um, so you guys are just now arriving at the scene. Um, uh, put yourselves behind the Molly Spirit. Um, I will find your token. One second. I have more radios in it. Or Elvin, rather. Okay, great. Okay. All right. Um, Shall I roll for initiative? Uh, sure. Why don't you guys roll for initiative? Let's get you in this. Click, click your token before you do. But yeah, I did. You did. Okay. okay. Um, that's. Uh, uh, Give me sure in there. Hold on. That's a ten. ten. Okay. Uh, I don't get my bonus or, or not. 
Did you roll? It should have already come in. No, I just... Okay. Well, yeah, this was rolled awesome. by holding the ox and uh, from the character page. Yeah, I didn't roll from character. I'm just doing it. Uh, character sheet. Why everything is at zero? Bizarre. Zero. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Oh, go to go to the uh, core sheet. You're on the spell sheet. Ah, yes. Okay. Core sheet. Initiative. Okay. Wow. All right. Where am I? Oh, okay. So 23. Um, okay. So what I'm gonna say, that initiative is gonna count on for the next round. I'm gonna put it on your everyone else can have one more round through and then you guys are attacked. You're gonna okay. go to the bottom and we'll, they'll sort of resort it after that. Um, because you're just coming up. So um, but uh, I, I do see what's going on tactically. Yes. I have uh, an overview. Yes, so I can't pull my bow. I can't pull my bow, right? You can. You can indeed. Okay. And uh, Mo, you're there, and your um, sprite has, uh, also, your uh, spirit has has just returned and is still in its subdued form. I see. But anyway, I'm. We got only a short rest, so I, I can't summon the real form. Right? You can't? I thought you could no. after a short rest. No, no, it's a... Uh, uh, let me ask Robert, the shape, shape shift of the druid is every long rest, right? No, short rest. Really? Oh! Yeah, which is why I could turn into a bear. Yeah. 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 Oh, that, that changed everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can. Yeah, then I guess, since I'm here, uh, and the spirit is back, I will summon the spirit in its true form here. Uh, every square is a five foot, right? Every square is five foot, so that would that would be within range of what you're trying to do. Okay. So yes, my action will be this. So he needs to do a, a dexterity saving throw against, I guess 15, let me check. I guess 13, against 13. Dexterity save versus 13. Okay, let me see how I do this. Hmm, do I have a... Saves. Uh... I'm, just gonna, I'm not sure this is going to include the modifier, but I'll add it in if it doesn't. Shot. Well, did that include it? It's a plus two. It did include that. So you it, it, it got a 12. So that's a, it's 13 was the target? Yes. So, so he got nine fire damage. Nine fire damage. He's got it. it is barely, I mean, it, it looks incredibly injured. It's, it's semi on fire. It's padding wildly with its four arms trying to put out the uh, And the then I use my bonus action to uh, ask my spirits to fire, fire save him. To do what now? Uh, but he did a one. Uh, and the, I think this is the spirit, so you can't re she can't re-roll the one. Can't no. re-roll, yeah, okay. So that's a, so it's a miss, so the, the yeah, yeah. it's like a firebolt, so it goes, it goes wide and explodes into the church side building next to you. Okay, that was my turn. Okay. Uh, Fervus, the bear. Mm -hmm. uh, so is this goat thingy a anthropomorphic goat man or a person wearing a goat mask? Ah, um, so without asking you to burn an action to roll a perception roll, I'll okay. tell you what you can tell. Just, I mean, you could investigate this more closely if you took time to I mean, investigation, but your initial yeah. reaction is, if it is a mask, it's a damn good one, because this one looks like something straight out of the depths um, and oh. very, very evil and very real. Great. Well, you guys know what we do with um, hellish creatures. Uh... I mean, I have keen smell, so I'm probably really not liking being next to him anyways. Cause You're very much not. He stinks. 
Uh, so we elaborated that there's a bonfire conveniently in front of this temple. Could I grapple goat person? And uh, I will try to drag him into the fire. Uh, but first I have to grapple him. Would that work? Yeah. Oh, well, go for it. Yeah, I think um, you're going to have to help me with the rules here. But I, my, my recollection is if you do successfully grapple someone, you can move them a certain number of feet. Yeah, uh, like half my movement or something. But something uh, like So you get to choose athletics or acrobatics. Oh, yeah, athletics. Oh, you get to choose, meaning the defender gets to choose. Is that what uh, you uh, You choose, uh, like... As a team or as the defending the attack creature? Uh, as, as, as the defending. So I have to do athletics, and you can choose whichever is better for you. For the resistance, you mean? For the yes, resistance. correct, oh, correct. Got it, yeah. understood. And I quickly have to check if I'm proficient in athletics. I think I am. Oh, yes, I am. Good. All right. Uh, so only four plus two. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Ah, it's just a four, a thirteen. All right, so I have to, I have to beat the, I have to match or beat. Right, if I match it, then nothing changes. Uh, the situation. Match. Uh, if if you match it, then uh, then you're good. Right. Yeah, because it's an opposition. Right? Okay. Yeah. So he's beats it, beats it. To try to resist you, he, he 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 feels the bear coming at him, and he although it's not a solid hit by the bear, so he pushes back against you unsuccessfully. Ah. Uh. And he succumbs to the program. creature. Yeah. Um, okay, so I have him in my bare claws. Uh, kind of like giving him a hug at this point. Yeah. I guess that's the only way that bears can lift things. And uh, I would like to, as I said, I would like to drop him into the fire. Okay. So drag him over here and just dump him on the bonfire. Okay. Um, so I guess you have two choices there or there. Which do you prefer? Uh, whichever. I don't mind. Yeah, that, uh, that's fine. That's fine. Center, I guess. Just okay. drop him there, and then I cannot do bonus section because technically this wasn't an attack. So yep, yeah, that's uh. That's your turn. All right. It. Yep. All right. Uh, give me one second. Let me just check something here. Okay. Um... And this might not work on him because I mean. But still, I've, uh, as a bear, it seemed like a good idea to yeah. okay. cook the goat. Um, I have to make a constitution saving throw. You, yeah, let's do that first. Why don't you go ahead and do that? Ah, 13. 13 is what you needed. Ah, you okay. shake it off. Um, hold on one second. To make this up in a second if I don't find anything really fast here. Uh, you're looking up if uh, he's Just burned. Looking. No, that I've got. I'm looking what to see what fire damage would do from dropping somebody on a fire. Uh, I'm guessing 1d6. But... Uh, look up the spell Bonfire. Okay. Um, I think there's a spell called Bonfire. Actually, I can do that here. On I'm, the, uh... I'm not sure how much damage that does. I never use that. I just know it exists. Sure. Yeah, that's good. Uh, anything else to try to get this right? On fire. It's not showing up in World Twenty. No, it's um, it's a. Uh, what's it called? It's a an adventure book spell. Oh, okay. All right, but... hold on one second. That's fine. Uh, uh, yeah. So D and D five D bonfire. Great bonfire. Bonfire spells D and D beyond. That should help. Uh. 
uh, 1d8. Yeah, or or just, you get a dexterity saving throw. Yeah, he gets the dex save. Uh, and what happens? There's no damage if you make a dex saving throw? So you like roll out of it, I guess, before it? Yes, I suppose, yeah. Okay. Yeah, if he okay. makes it, then uh, he takes no damage. Okay, let's go with I that. think that's fair. Seems fair. Yeah. Okay. Um, thank you for your patience for looking at that. It's always nice fun to learn something. Uh, what is the saving throw that I'm rolling against? Though? <laughs> That's a good question. Um, well, all right, just for simplicity, I'm gonna say it's 15 because he was not in control and you were dropping in. Yeah, cool, things, cool, so cool, cool. It's pretty difficult. Yeah, cool. Cool. <laughs> well, nice. Wait, he makes he matches it, which means that nothing changes from the situation from where he was dropped into. So yeah. I think that's a fail. Yeah. Okay. Um. Because it's status quo when you match and yes, status correct. Quo on the fire pit. Yeah. So, okay. So um, he actually does. Uh, it does hurt him. Um, maybe not as much as you would think that being dropped onto a bonfire would hurt someone. Yeah. But it does hurt. Uh, one day. What? You want to roll the damage? Why don't you roll? Uh, yeah, I can do it. Yeah, sure. One d eight. So. Two and I guess his yeah. resistance or one. He's a little bit uh a little bit heated by it, but um okay cool. Not severely hurt. Yeah, sorry guys. Uh, what can I roll this way? That's weird. There you go. Okay, got it. Okay, um, is that your turn? Yep. Did you and you rolled your constitution save and you made it, right? Yes. Okay. okay. Um it is this one which is dead. And okay, the creature in front of Molly um, uh, looks behind and sees the, the flaming creature that just appeared behind it and Molly in front and will just uh, take a swipe at Molly. Yeah, yeah, it looks very confused. <laughs> and, and as far as the spider can look confused. Um, Okay, it lashes out. That's 16 of armor class. Uh, sorry, uh, 16? Yeah. Okay. So it's it's uh, striking at the real Molly. Uh, misses with the first dagger. Uh, according to initiative, is it is it at me to to be uh, acting now? No, uh, because um, what what I said earlier, uh, maybe I wasn't very clear on it, is that since you guys are just coming in, I was going to let the uh, current initiative run all the way through. Okay. And then okay. pick you guys up at the bottom because you're just sort of just entering into this hole. That's the same turn then. That's the same turn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um, so the first dagger, the first arm swishes over. Molly's head because she's very small. The second one, though, strikes in and sinks into her shoulder, doing four piercing damage. Um, and the third arm, <laughs> yeah, third arm swings across and also misses as Molly dodges out of the way. And that is all it does: is it hisses in this really grotesque spider-like way. Um, next, the uh, the uh, goat demonic creature um, snarls at the bear in a goat on bear kind of way, and steps over here um, and out of the fire, and then lashes out at the bear. Yep. Again with its barbed tail. Yep. Ooh, yep. Uh, this time hitting with a 23, doing six piercing damage. Yep. Uh, the bear needs to do a saving throw. Yes. All right. Thanks for joining in. Uh, another saving throw. Got it. Ha! Okay, what happens? Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so you're poisoned. Oh, uh, okay. And so you start the, uh, beneath your fur, these festering boils 
starts to starts to uh, explode all on your skin, and you start to cough up flies, uh, with mouth and nose, and uh, your skin starts to waft off in this sort of rotting way. Yikes! Um, I have a disease. You do actually. Uh. Uh, we need the paladin in this group. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I think my hit point maximum is reduced, right? By, Correct. By yeah, by what you want to roll one day eight or you want to take a four? I'll give give you a choice. Uh, let's roll. Yeah. She's by six. All right. Okay. So that's cool, your cool, cool, cool. six. Um, but that's your max. If you're already below that, it doesn't. It's not going to further reduce your hit points. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You got it. In your bear form, mm. and this is this is affecting your bear form, obviously. Huh. Um, okay. Uh. Okay. So that is. Um. I think I. I guess we at some point we'll need to check the rule on that whether disease carries over. Because if you die, it doesn't, right? You 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 drop out of your bear form, but you retain your current hit points, your prior hit points. I don't know how it works with the disease. I don't know. So we'll have to figure that one out. Yeah, just later. I'll I'll trust your decision, whatever you think it makes sense. Yeah. No, I, I don't I don't think there's a rule for that. Okay, I will have to think about that. Um, okay, so um, that is all that happens. Um, You've already done your savings throw for the Constitution for the sickness. Mm. Uh, let me check this one's here. Okay, that's okay. Um, Molly, can you roll a Constitution saving throw, please? Molly. Okay, um, you feel this horrible sickness wash over you as this. Uh, I think you can reroll that because it's a one. Ah, he rerolled it already. Oh, the advantage seven. Uh, that still didn't do it. You um, you feel the sickness wash over you, and um, you start feeling like this retching feeling, and uh, you take one d six damage, which is three points of damage. Um, but you no other ill effects, just other than feeling like you, you want to rest. You, you, you puke a little into your mouth. Oh. <laughs> That's really gross. <laughs> um, okay. That is all that happens there. Um, this guard over here takes another swing kind of weakly at the uh, creature that is next to it. Uh, and misses for this attack. Um, They're so bad. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and yeah. I guess it's also disease now, but. What's that? So, okay. No, n no nothing, nothing. Oh. Um, okay. And this creature that is next to it tries to swing back. Um, hitting, uh, hitting with two blows and piercing through the heart of this guard, and the guard goes down. <gasps> no! Not the guard. Um, it then moves in this direction. Oh, oh. Yep. Two. I'm glad we have reinforcements. <laughs> Uh, okay. Molly's spirit just standing over here. Uh, well, it just appeared and uh, it attacked that um, creature that's here. Ah, okay, so help us. Okay. So it is, it is uh, Eleanor's turn. Well, I'm gonna attack that guy. I'm gonna rush towards that guy. And okay. I'm gonna attack it with my daggers. So I'm, I'm attacking with. Uh, with two hands and he's a diverse. Yes. So first I'm gonna go for my right hand attack. 
the fifteen, I'm not sure. I guess so it's eleven. Uh, eleven. Yeah. Um, eleven. So you your swing uh, just misses it. This thing is you know, spider way sort of dodging and weaving out of the way. Uh, the first one. Okay. Right. Okay, I'm gonna attack with my other hand, and it's a twenty-five. Wow, I is that a natural nice. point? It is. It's a critical it hit. Yeah. Kind okay, of. so you roll the damage die twice, and it's also sneak attack, which is a one d six on top of that. Um, and you get to roll that die twice too. You only add your uh the plus two once. Uh, I think it already ruled for the piercing damage, which says 5 plus 2 piercing down here, uh, or is this different? It didn't count the critical, though. That was weird. It should. Okay, um, so what, what additional dice do you want so, me to right, roll? So do, a, do an additional uh, d4 and roll 2d6. So, so first d4, 6. d4, and d4, yep. which is a 4, and, then two and six. 2d6, which is a 7. Great. So that's 7 plus 7, 14 plus 4, 18. 18 points mm. of damage. Oh my god. Nice. Ah, and I'm not done yet because I can use now stick attack because I I, I succeeded in attacking it. So I'm that, gonna that's, what for the, that. that's what the 2d6 works. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So you already counted the sneak attack. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's what you were talking about. The yeah, okay. no, that's the sneak attack because Molly was within five feet too. So ah. you get the sneak attack. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So that was great. So the, the dagger goes straight into the thing's eye socket and like the, the blade, you can see uh, sneaking out of the other side of its skull, and it, it just shivers and falls on its back with its legs sort of quivering in the air. Yeah, and it's uh, thoroughly dead. Well, um, I'm, I'm gonna use my cutting action to hide. I'd like uh, to hide. Uh, well, I can hide behind actually. Uh, how, how, how tall is Molly again? Molly's the same height as you, so you can't hide behind Molly. Okay, um, so it's gonna be Elven, yes. You um, could hide. I'm gonna hide behind Elven. Behind? Okay, so yeah. so yeah, move move there, and then yeah. uh, you can take the bonus yeah. action to, to hide. When he moves, I'm gonna uh, just move behind him, basically, yeah, I got like it. hiding. I got it, that's fine. Um, now, I guess, just to clarify, and think about this before you do this, um, yeah. if Elven moves, um, you will no longer be obscured by him, so you would you would lose your hidden status. Yeah, that's um, what I was thinking about. Like, do I move behind him, like keep hiding behind him, or just like I stand there when he moves, um, everybody can see me again. Yeah, everyone would see you again because you will have already used your move action. What you could do instead is move behind yeah. this tree over here. Yeah, well, I was thinking like that corner as well, but yeah, the trees are better. You could do that. And... Yeah. Okay. Let's say I'm I'm, I'm inside the tree. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you are, um, you were hiding there. Uh, I think to hide, you still need to roll a stealth action to see if you succeed in your hide. Um, is this coming action? Okay. Yeah, saw, yeah. You still need. You, it allows you to do it to do the hide action, but to succeed in the hide, you still need to do a. Uh, stealth. You do it very nicely. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. As you move over here. Oh, um, I'm going to give you one more chance on this because yeah, I don't think you were here when, when I gave this to everybody else. In that direction, actually, hold on a second, where are you? 5, 10, 15, 20, oh, never mind. You were, as you moved up to attack that spider creature, you felt this horrible sickness feeling. And as you move into the tree, you still feel that feeling. So you need to give me a constitution saving throw. Oh. Also, it's not like when you get hit, it's like uh, everywhere just walking around, you get it? It's two different things. Uh, okay. So yeah. Constitution. Saving it, it, throw. Trust me, getting hit is worse. <laughs> okay. Yep. So, saving throw, right? The bear will tell you. Yeah, look at the bear. Uh, okay. So, you feel, again, just like Molly, this sort of nauseousness weight wash over you, and you feel absolutely ill, um, and uh, you take some damage by it. One point of damage. Okay, I will take that. Oh shoot! I just. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's I gone. Really do that? Oh, everyone's still right. good. I thought I just lost everything. Yeah, one damage. Okay, mm -hmm. I think that's your turn. Yes. Yep. Okay. Elvin, welcome to the fray. Uh yes. Okay. So, do I see any any um, enemy from uh, where I am? 
Yeah, I, I'll say that you can still see um, the goat guy, although I'm going to give him partial cover because of that tree. Um, okay. But if you moved a little bit, you know he's there, so you can move a little bit up and around and get a clear shot at him. Okay, uh, how, we, case, uh, how we move here? And you see a bear as well with the goat. <laughs> yeah. You see uh, there with again, goat. which one confused. is which? Wow. Yes, getting confused. So you can see the, the goat guy here. You can also see uh, this spider-like creature over here. Okay, so I'm going to shoot this creature here. Uh, hold on. Uh, this yeah. one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, with my uh, bow. Uh, let me roll for it. Bow. So it should go. 21. Yeah. 21. Arrow strikes straight into its um, its uh, leg, and okay. uh, it draws blood. Okay. Uh, uh, one question: okay. Is is this uh, creature already wounded? It was already wounded, um, and now it looks more wounded. So I can use my Colossus uh, ability, which uh, inflict a 1d8 uh, on uh, creatures that uh, I can hit and that uh, already yes. have lost. Does that work on a range attack as well as a um, melee? That's a question I was asking myself, and I see on my, on my sheet that uh, when you so, hit a creature with a weapon attack. Yeah, so, that, that's okay. Then. So weapon attack. I think you're good. Okay, so let me roll 1d8. 1d8. Seven. Seven more. Yep. And somehow your shot um, is extra strong and pierces straight through this uh, the spider creature's equivalent of a carotid artery. And you see blood just splurting out of the wound in its leg and it goes down. Okay. Good. So I have a smile of satisfaction. Yes, it was a hell of a shot. Uh, I will roll a d20 to see if it gives me uh, extra confidence. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 15, yes, pretty All right. much. You're feeling very good. Yeah, I'm feeling good. All right. Uh, and you... uh, I, I'll stand by and ready uh, my, uh, my bow again. Okay. Uh, very good. And you're staying in that location? Um, I can move a bit more, I think, and uh, I will I will move to, to get uh, maybe a better view of uh, just, what's going just on. Just to note yeah, that the further to... up that way you move, that you can feel that the, 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 the illness coming stronger okay. in that direction. So the moment I start to feel this illness, I step back. All right. Um, you need to step back farther than that. Okay, so I'll step here. One more. Ah, oh, no, that's okay. where you are. Oh, well, hold on, hold on. That's where you yeah. are. Let me see. Yeah. Uh, how do I do a? How do I do a? How do I do the measurement thing? This is it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You got to give me a Constitution saving throw. Uh, okay. Constitution. Where I am. Constitution. But the advantage, the good thing is you can move forward more if you want. You're you're okay. You shake it off. You. You feel oh, okay. closeness coming through you, but you felt so empowered by your amazing shot that uh, yes. you overcome it. Okay, uh, I'm courageous, so I'll go a, a bit further. All right. We're feeling very, very confident. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Small, small. Uh, okay, is that it? Um, yeah, I don't think uh, I will do any further action besides reading uh, uh, the next arrow. Okay, very good. Um, Molly, you're up. You feel quite relieved that this thing in front of you is now... You know, yeah, definitely. It's quite I, gross. So, I move here. And... I guess I will cast a firebolt here. Okay. And the fire scene. Nice. Nice. Yes. Uh, one, the, one fire damage from me. And six so a total of seven damage and fire seven. damage? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, so both, what is a fire seed, by the way? 
Ah, it's basically like a firebolt. However, I think it generates directly on the target rather than being a uh, oh, like a dart. Tactile. I yeah. see. And is but that technically you're... it's the same thing. Okay. And is that you doing both of these, or is that your spirit doing one of these? The spirit does it. Okay. I use so my free action. I, I need to use my free action. Okay. To have the spirit cast this spell. The fire seed. Yes. Got it. So you did the bolt. I did the seed. Okay. Got yep. it. So I, I, if you can see. The fire seed does a better hitting roll than my fire oh, bolt. Okay. The spirit is better than me. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. Yeah. So your bolt hits it squarely in the chest, um, and the seed explodes like on top of its head. So it's, it's, it's this burst of flame from the top of its head. Um, and it turns and looks at you and snarls, and maybe a little bit of a snicker at the same time. It doesn't look too ter terribly hurt by this. What next? <clears throat> uh, can I ask a question, uh, just quick? Uh, yep. When we when we roll against that the sea is feeling, is this like against being frightened? Because I have the brave ability, and I was wondering if this works on the saving throw or not. I don't think there's any anything to save against for this. Uh, yeah, so so it's not like being frightened. It's just like and it's his. Here, I'll, I'll show this to you guys. This is it. Unless you are a like, what what kind of halfling are you? What's your sub race? See ya. Because there is the stout halfling which has Just halfling, half light foot, light foot halfling. Oh, light foot. Okay, okay. There's no saving throw. It's just this. It's just this. Okay, okay. I get it. I get it. Okay, got it. Uh, unless you are a paladin, you will probably get it. Even then, I think you'd be out of luck. Um, Molly, do you have any other action? No, that that's all. Okay, uh, please give me a constitution saving throw. Oh my god. And you're okay. You were feeling... Uh, Maybe a little bit angry at this thing sneering at you, and you manage to choke down the uh, ill feeling that washes over you. Um, okay, Burbis. Uh huh. Uh, sorry, I just read the rotting presence thingy. What's a bell is a uh, or bu bull is a? Uh huh. It's, What's uh, that? It's what you're what you're facing. Oh, that's the creature. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Jesus, right? Uh, okay. Uh, well, I'm poisoned, and uh, he has his back towards me, so I'll just attack him with disadvantage. Uh, first, I try oh, to rake. Is when you're poisoned? Yes. Oh wow, that sucks. I didn't realize that. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, M Molly, are you a lightfoot halfling as well? Yes, he is. Okay. Well then. Okay. Uh, so I'll try to rake him across his back, but I'm feeling kind of weak, so that's probably not going to hit. Uh, nope, neither one of those hit. Okay. It's a, it's a 4 and a 12, right? No, sorry, it's a 10 and 18? Yeah, 10 and... Well, oh, it's, a, it's a disadvantage of 10. Yeah, 18. exactly. Uh, so that didn't work. I'll try to bite uh, into his, I don't know, hips or something, like, well, his leg, let's yep. say. All right. Uh, Ooh, that's a 20 and 13. Oh. So the claw goes wide and then you struggle to get your strength. Yeah. And you reach for its leg to try to bite and it just lifts its leg away. Damn it. All right. It's large. Uh, just, yeah, I'll try to slam him as a bonus action. Okay. Just a body slam as a last ditch effort. 18. 11. Ah, this disadvantage. Wow. Okay. He dodges everything. I was just like, wow. This guy's actually cool. a lot tougher because of that than I had realized. Um, yeah. You still have the movement uh, action if you want to take it. I do, but um, I'm cool there. I think that's it. Next. Okay. Now uh, you will need to do a constitution saving throw. Oh, yeah. That's true. Ah, now yeah. I have a 20. Okay. Now you're feeling, feeling good for that, at least. So the, the <laughs> not make you 
feel any more ill than you are with your nice your well, yeah. boils. <laughs> um, okay, you are not looking like a very attractive bear at the moment, although your beard no. looks quite good. Cool. All right. Um, next up, uh, these guys are all dead, right? We have none of those left. Okay. Um, this guy can do anything else. So. Uh, yeah. Hmm. But you're the one that's attacking him, so he's just going to turn on you. Yep. Um, he gives Molly a one last sneer as he spins around and swipes his tail again at the bear. Oh, uh, yep. With a critical hit. Oh my god. Uh, I think it's all in there. Yeah, it's all in there. So, total of 16 damage. Yeah, the bear doesn't look good. But still a bear. Still a bear. <laughs> still a bear. Not by much. Um, but the unique... <laughs> yeah, no, I need I to don't... do that. Do you do this? Is it... I think... Do you take it twice if you already had the condition? Uh, I mean, uh, I, I guess. The creature, it must be... uh, 5e doesn't have stages of poison, like levels, does it? It's just you're, no. not, you're not, right? I, I, I mean, thought I was at Pathfinder confused with it, so I don't think so. Um, okay. I, I don't think so. I think I think you're, you're already poisoned by this. I yeah. don't think you have to do it again. Okay, cool. Um, Okay. If I weren't before, now I am for right, sure. Right. right. Um, okay, and it is going to. Um, let's see. Everyone else is in range. It's okay. It stays where it is. Um, that's it. Uh, the guard is also dead. That's dead. It's Elinor's turn again, hiding from behind the tree. Um, okay, I was just uh, checking uh, because I think I did something wrong last time. Uh, when I rolled the second uh, dagger, the second hand, it, it pulled and gave me 5 plus to 7 piercing, and then I rolled the 1d4 and then the sneak attack. But actually, I should only roll the 1d4 and the sneak attack. The first 7 damage, we shouldn't have counted those because the attack with the other side, with the other hand, only gets the 1d4. So. Like basically, the big guy, the big monster who is next to the beer, should his health basically should recover by seven. Uh, it seven was, it only had one hit point it. left, so you killed it no matter what. But um, but just but it's good that we're getting this clear. So what what I thought you had? So you have you normally do one d four plus one d six sneak attack, and sneak attack is only only hits only two d six once. Yeah. Oh, it's two d six is your sneak attack damage yeah. normally. Yes. Oh wow! So, I think you actually because you crit all of your your rolls, right? Yeah. So, yeah. So it, your your sneak attack only happened once per turn, but it hadn't happened on your first attack. So your first attack missed. Yeah. So you do get your sneak attack on the one that hits. Yeah. So you would have actually rolled four d six, right? Plus two d four. Does anyone else think I'm wrong on that? Why forty six? It's it's so sorry. because it's a critical hit. So you do, so you roll. Ah, so you, because it's a critical. Oh, okay. Because it's a critical. Yeah. Uh, so, so you you roll all of your 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 dice roll twice. Twice, yeah. Critical yeah. hit. So it should have been forty six plus one d four, but plus two that's still, but I still got plus seven damage. So you can count it as another thirty six. Yeah, you just you don't double your 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 additives. So if you're like plus three to damage because of your dex, you don't double that on a critical hit. Yeah, yeah. it's just regular. Um, yeah. But everything else, all the rolls go double. So it, anyway, you did massive, massive damage on that one. I guess it worked it out, but it's because of the system in here. Basically, like there is no roll for the other uh, side of my hand. I can make a macro for that. Basically, just I'm just gonna ignore the damage that gets. Generated. Yeah, you just, you just add the uh, that's, so that's right because you don't have that. Uh, you don't have actually a two. You're using as a bonus action without yeah. without the ability, so you don't add your dexterity to it. That's right. Exactly, and also because this is a bonus action, I shouldn't have been able to use my cunning action to hide because cunning action is a bonus action. Was your bonus action? Thank you for yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you're here, um, but you're not hidden. 
So we'll do it that yeah, way. Yeah, exactly. Let's say However, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just like behind. Uh, <laughs> you're sort of taking cover. Yeah. However, you, you'll note that the bear is within uh, five feet of your target. Yeah. You're attacking the, the, uh, the goat, so you do get your sneak attack. Yeah, basically, that's what I'm counting on. So yeah. I'm just going to go, go towards the goat here okay. and attack with my doors again. So, 19, it's a hit. Hit, and it hits for uh, five. Yep, so give me 2d6 for the sneak attack damage. First 1d4 for, for oh yeah, yeah, for yeah no, no, after that, after that, yeah. Yep. For the sneak attack, okay. Uh, 2d6, so it's All right, nine. So nine. Yep, and so 14 then damage. One, four. So, that, that's all. Hmm? Because you already have the d4. It's not a critical. Uh, uh, no, 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 the other uh, dagger. That can be two hands. Yep. And it's a two. So uh, 5 plus 9 is 14 plus 3 is 16. Wait, I'm sorry, what are you rolling for here? And uh, my other dagger. I have daggers in both hands. You have, you have to roll the hit on the second for the second. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah sorry. Yeah. I rolled the, the first one. And then, that's why I wanted to do them in sequence before the sneak attack. Yeah. So I don't forget. Yep. 16 hits. Right, that's a 16, so I guess it's. And you do four damage there. You don't get sneak attacks, that's only once per turn. So that's another four damage. Uh, but does that have a plus in it? We have to take No, no, there's a thing. Ignore, ignore the four that is so done okay. automatically. It's a two, okay? Uh, it's not a four, it's a two. The two is a correct. Uh, oh, from the two. Okay, that's fine. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. So, so it's five plus nine plus two. Okay. You yeah. do a solid hit um, with your dagger stabbing it into its side and it screams, um, but it is still standing. Yeah, it's a good one. So strong one. But please give me a constitution saving throw. Still alive. Oh my god. <laughs> Saving. And it's a 15. 15. You, you feel the nauseousness wash over you, but you manage to choke it off. Mm. But you really don't like this creature. It is really, really making you ill. It's a gang up on this guy, guys. Um, okay, so you still have a movement action left. You don't have the bone section. Yeah. Mm, just, move, move, let's, uh, just a note, if you do move out ah, of the yeah, range, yeah. it will yeah, get yeah. an attack. It will get an opportunity. Yeah, no, never mind. I'm not moving. Stay there? Okay. Uh, Elvin, your turn. Um, do you have a clear shot to it or is... Uh, no, actually, uh, Tony is... Uh, not Tony, sorry. Um, ah, Molly? Let's see your name. Yeah, Molly oh. is, uh, is a small. Yeah, for... it's a... It's also up the top of stairs, so I'll say that you Yes, so shot. I should have a good uh, line of sight. I, I, I will try to shoot it uh, um, with my bow. Okay. So, tension, release. Whoa, critical hit. What yeah. the heck? That's too much. <laughs> um, this is amazing. So, you do, critical. is there already included that one day? A plus three, yeah, and this one. Okay, so that's already on there. That includes the crit. So, so you it's a do 14. 16 points of damage. Uh, 16 plus 1d8. No, it's already it's already on. The, oh, yeah, plus the injured one for the additional one. Yes, no, yes. Actually, roll that twice. Give Why twice? Yeah, because all your die rolls double. Nine. So that, Nine. That's wow. a 25. So, that's, uh, yeah, Nine 25. 25. Headshot, headshot. That's a headshot. Your arrow goes straight through the center of this thing's skull. Yeah, shooting out the other side and trailing a, 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 a mist of, of uh, blood and brains, and it hmm. falls into the ah. into the fire. Hooah! Boom! And it this is, is the way it's done, folks. It's quite dead. And you feel you feel most most heroic. Yes, uh, I, I have. A, I think I have an advantage on my smile die. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ah, sorry. So, you just rolled a 33 on a smile. It's no, that's uh, <laughs> and, uh, 15. Yes, okay. So I'm really, really happy about that. Really it's happy. just uh, yeah. all right. It's okay, uh, guys. And uh, this thing smolder, smolders in, in the fire. No more constitution saving throws. Uh, no more constitution saving throws other than. Uh, the bear will need to do one, and perhaps Purvis will have to figure this out in 24 hours. 
Um, so you hear this, this, uh, and see this uh, girl in the corner struggling and and uh, squealing. Is this guy dead? Yes, dead. I I run to her actually. Okay. Okay. I, I position myself around uh, with my bow ready. Okay. As a as in a watch. You look out. Okay. Yeah, I'm on a watch. Is she the red side? I'm sorry. Say, say it again. I didn't, I didn't hear you. Is, is she already tied? She is tied up, and she's also as you get closer, you see that that one of these uh, ropes has been tied around her head, and she's partly gagged by it. I'm I untie her as fast as possible, and I tell her, "Are you Namaya?" And she she's she's shaking. She's so afraid, and she's she's crying and sobbing, and she tries to struggle backwards um, into uh, this you know against the wall here. And looks absolutely horrified and sees this dead guard that's, you know, had a big gash in him, just feels just is is absolutely terrified. Please don't fear me. I'm here to save you. You are Namaya, right? And she's she tries to slow down her breaths and, and stop herself from hyperventilating. And and she she suddenly looks at you as if for the first time, realizing that you're there. And she says, Yes, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm Namiya. Your mother is looking for you. We shall reach her as soon as possible. Please come here. My name is Molly. I'm Molly. Yeah, my name is Molly. And she just starts crying and, and sort of crawls over and, and, and grabs onto you. And I hold her. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you guys want to stop here or what would you like to do? It's five after five yeah maybe we, before 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 going there one more things i look at the other guys and they say thank you we should get her to safety shall we inspect those uh oh, yeah. pictures yeah i was going to investigate that gold thing yep. before we finish Okay, so we are getting close to the creature and trying to figure out what's, what, what are they? Sure. Um, we'll investigate, if you don't mind. Yeah. How oh, bad? It's a bad investigation. Never mind. Let me try. Oh my god. Minus one. What are you, uh, are you right rolling investigation? Um, I, yeah, yeah but I'm 11. Either, if anybody wants to give me either a, um, a nature check, or, okay. Hold on one second. Um, gosh, I'm doing too many things at once here. Give me one second, guys. Uh, or I guess in a. Did I have a cult on this? Hold on. There's such, there's no such thing. Um, so either nature or I'll take Arcana. So. Uh, that's the same. Oh my God. Uh, no, just, uh, <laughs> monsters, they are bad monsters, horrible monsters. You yes. consistently know this thing looks... Cool. Let's try nature. Yeah, yeah. try nature. Okay, never mind. Let's All right. You've never seen never before. <laughs> um, it smells really bad. Yeah. I guess Fervus will turn back to old man. Me? <laughs> uh, yeah, He's you have <laughs> You see uh, Bear turn into uh, your, your friend Fervus. Uh, but I think I'm still poisoned, correct? I, I am going to um, research that and think about it during the, the downtime. Between okay. Those, I'll let you know. I, I don't know what the right is on that. Yeah. Well, the reason why I wanted to turn back is I wanted to roll for nature. Ah! Okay. That's a better one. Well, unless it's at disadvantage if I'm still at, like poisoned. <laughs> uh, I won't do that, but it's still it's still not enough for you to really um, tell okay, much good. about this. Um, but... You, um, you just get the sense from looking at it and from, from seeing how it acted when it, when it looked, you know, when it was fighting all of you, 
it just looked like something that was um, evil, that just just pure evil um, in nature. Um, and that's that's the, the sense that you get. Great. It looked like it had no real um, uh, thought behind it other than hatred and just, you know, horrid, putrid evil. And it clearly wanted nothing more than to see you, you know, flayed into uh, small little bits. Mm -hmm. cool. Can I try to use uh, my sieve tools on it to, to take any valuables or anything of any uh, looks interesting on that body? Sure. Jake, let me see if I can give you guys a, a better shot of this. I have it here anyway. Um, How do I roll for sieve tools? I don't actually know about this. Uh, it, it just it gives you advantage because you're skilled in it on a roll that 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 would use the tool. So like lock picking would would do it. Um, it it's Really, more for that than for uh, dexterity, I guess. What's that? Is it, is it a dexterity roll or what? Are you, what are you trying to do exactly? You're trying to see if it has any valuables. You're trying to like, see. It? Yeah, using the thief's tools to basically check the body and. Yeah, uh, I, the thief's tool I don't think will actually help you with the search, but you could just do a a you know investigation check to see if um if you can find anything on it. Although you you know it's not dressed. I'm trying to see if I can give you a. Um, a really quick thing. Um, I tried an investigation, but it wasn't that good. So. Uh, and I try again. <laughs> All right, give me one second. I'm gonna give you guys a better, better look at this thing. Um, I have the explorer is back as well. Let me see if I have something the explorer is back. Sorry. Can you see what it looks like now? Did you guys get the picture? Oh uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely a gold. So it's pretty easy to uh, to search it, and uh, you know because it's really not wearing much. Um, but you don't you don't find anything um, that it really of value on it. Um, it's really it's not carrying anything. It was attacking with its tail. That's interesting. Uh, do you check out the spider creatures? Sure. Check that guy. A nineteen. Okay. Um, so similarly, these they, they they each are carrying daggers. Um, the daggers don't look um, particularly valuable. They're very very crude and basic daggers um, that they're carrying that, that, that dropped, you know, next, next to their bodies. Um, but other than that, they just look like these um, transformed uh, spider beasts. Um, they, uh, one of them is carrying a, a coiled up um, piece of this gray rope that was used to tie the girl. And uh, on closer inspection, you can see that it's almost made out of a, a web-like material. They are spiders after all, so I guess it makes sense. Hmm. Do, do we see anything on the bodies that might indicate that they were originally human, like they were turned into these things? Um, give me a nature roll. Nature? Um, well, they certainly don't look human to you. Um, you're looking, you know, they 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 do, um, you know, have vaguely human-like form, but um, it does not look natural to you. You don't see anything that's just by looking at it that that has any sort of remnant of a of a human within it. Its its features look a like whole. It's that's different a little bit than the fish guys that you saw before, which look like they 
they were sort of part and part. Nothing useful so far. Uh, well, <clears throat> Ferris is sitting on the stairs and uh, he's just going to slowly make his way towards the guard who died. Uh, turn into a bear again and uh, try to put the guard on his back. Okay. There's uh, a couple of dead guards. There's yeah, three, three. and he's going to insinuate towards you guys to put the rest of the guards on his back. And then he will try to carry those two. I mean, he doesn't feel good, so he'll probably go to the hospital. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Carry one of the guys Because I suppose I'm still poisoned, because it would make sense. Yeah, just take, put all the guards on my back, and very slowly, I'll just start walking towards where I believe is the hospital. Okay. Um, that's not far away. Would you guys like to to roll that, or to uh, to play that, or do you want to save that for the next session? I'm fine either way. Uh, I would like to to go. Okay, okay. okay. I need to go as well. So. Yeah. Cool. Kind of went over a little bit today. Have a nice session. Thank you. Yeah, it's very really good. Great. Hey, I guys had a blast. Thank you for this, and uh, we'll pick it up next time. Mm. Yes. Thank you very much. It was a very nice session. I would like to investigate that door next time as well. Okay. <laughs> Just remember that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank Bye. you, guys. Bye, Bye guys. Sunday. Uh, just that I have you here on the spot, um, shall we do next week uh, eventually? No, I can't next week. I can't, can't oh, that's right. one week and I read you.